drinking Kool-Aid cameras like I did when I was nine. Cause I like to pretend that I haven't lost a tie. In the end, the nostalgia, though it tastes fine. I can only drink a couple cause it feels like a lie. We'd play Halo and we'd lay low in our basement until the sun began to rise. But not alone too much Cause it's hard to read when you've got tired eyes Months go by, the time it flies Past the days that we drink Kool-Aid in the summertime Years go by, the time it flies Past the days that we drink Kool-Aid in the summertime Teach me how to lead the way I wanna be different around you
Teach me how to lead the way. I want to be different around you.
Yeah, playing low percent in this matchup, really any mini matchup in melee against someone who knows about like catch canceling and ASDI, really, really hard. So you kind of want to like, a lot of times these early percents, you're kind of just grinding out the first like 30 or so before you can get like a really good opening. Obviously Fox has like, you know, more guaranteed punishes at zero, but uh, even against, against a, like a pretty skilled opponent who knows like their defensive routes, you can still get messed up for trying to approach up below like 20-ish. Cause you can't like just only go for drill, you know what I mean? So the cheeks are gonna catch on to that eventually. And then air just uh you know, it just gets get beaten by holding down. Alright, this is looking pretty commanding for Shroom on last game, but uh Let's see what Kevout's got in the bag. Nice. Ooh, gets out of the up air, that's really crucial. And gets a nice reversal off of it, but the side B, and... Eh? 
Oh, okay, catches him with the back air and... Yeah, he keeps going with the grab. Damn. Not the way I wanted to see that set end, but uh... Well played by Shroomed. Kevin Bot, I feel like, gotta be happy about at least t keeping it pretty close against you know, <laughs> someone of Shroomed's caliber. But uh, I think when you're at that level, you don't really celebrate the close losses. <laughs> I love sitting up here, it's like, simultaneously I'm commentating, but also I'm like spectating. I'm looking over the people. I give them like a thumbs down, like, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta quit. Thumbs up, I mean, nice stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let me pull up the bracket on my phone. Talk a little about the state of North Carolina. Alright, we got... I've never heard of Overground, but they'll be playing S2J in round three winners. They beat my housemate Tomas. <laughs> Typhoon versus Dark Wizard win in round three. That's a... That's one I hope I get to see on stream. Satanic Minnow. I'm not sure if I recognize your Twitch handle, Satanic Minnow, but what's up? <laughs> if you say your name, I'll probably have a better chance. Rom versus Arcadia. Ooh, that could be really fun. Yeah, already in progress. Dark Atmer versus Red Panda Master. Oh, man, this is a really crazy tournament. Spark versus Free Hops. Umar Blarg. Alright. Looks like we got Falco. I'm guessing it's Rom. Oh, SDK. What's up, dude? I, of course, I remember you. Good to know you're still uh, keeping in touch with the Melee community. Always appreciate the uh, interaction, I'd say. Oh, okay. I was looking like... Oh, I could just look and see who's playing. Yeah, that's SUJ. Alright. This is the matchup I've been playing a lot against Nathan Sandwich. I wouldn't say I've gotten particularly good at it, but I've gotten against... At least experience, you know. Exclusively dubs. Honestly, that's kind of that's kind of the move. That's kind of you're kind of real. You're so real for that. Honestly, I've been playing uh, not as much doubles as I want, but at least I'll be teaming with Rymo at Genesis. So watch out for us for that. Lots of good doubles on the Discord. That's true. It's cool how I've gotten to see the melee community tra like transition from like Facebook and uh, uh, Twitter, I guess, into like. In the modern era of Discord melee community, which yes, hmm? nah, Battlefield Game One. Honestly, as Falco, I would think this is a mistake to start here, but I sure, I'm sure when you're SJ, you don't really. You know. He's fine with the stage. I right, get up attack, gets him in the air. Oh. 15 seconds gone, first stock gone. That's honestly Falcon Falcon for you. Nice pressure shield grunt by Overground. Alright, Stomp Out of Shield is such a beast in this matchup because, like, you think you're Falco, I'm like, oh, I got all kinds of options to hit this guy's shield. Like, I'm gonna beat him on frame data. And then you remember that your moves are tiny and get destroyed by Stomp. <laughs> Plus the uh, the way he kind of crumbles up as he pulls his knees up makes him actually pretty hard to hit out of shield if you don't like consider the timing at all. If you just try to do your fastest aerial out of shield, you're probably going to get hit by the stomp anyway. Oh, okay. It doesn't quite get the kill confirm on the shine, but th those are the ones that you, you look back on your set and you think, man, if I just hit that down air, like, at least I got the stock, you know, without too much trouble. Oh, those, <laughs> the drift back on that up here was nice. Though, it's like, it seems so simple, like, oh, he just missed by like an inch, but it's like, 
The Falcon knew the spacing. The Falcon knew, knew the drift back. It's... Falcon recover is not good, but in, a, in the hands of a skilled player, it can definitely trick, trick you up. Nice back here. Oh! Goes for double, but not quite. Doesn't matter, gets the other guard anyway. Oh, just comes through with the stomp. Yeah, one of the earliest tactics I think you gotta learn in this matchup as Falcon is to jump over the low lasers. Right right there, you saw him jump over the low laser with Nair. That honestly will beat like 50% of Falco's. Oh, and just knees him. You gotta be a little more duplicitous with your recoveries as Falco in this matchup. Or in any matchup, really. When you're playing against someone good, you... there's a saying in chess when you're winning, simplify. When you're losing, complicate. When you're off stage, you gotta complicate. Otherwise, your friend's gonna pick the simplest option they know, which is just in that case, just dump off me. And you're done. That's your stock. Oh my god, that up air. <laughs> that up air hitbox gotta be. <sighs> I, I, sorry, I've I just been hit by that too many times. <laughs> Yeah, as Falcon, like, or as Falco in this matchup, you don't want to let yourself get put in the corner, right? Then you just knee and, like, you. <laughs> Falco's pretty light, both bases are pretty light, so the knee, even if it doesn't, like, kill you off the side, you're getting edge guarded. And you're so far away that it's easy to react to your options. And. Wow. Mm, doesn't go off stage with the edge guard there, but, uh. He's, I guess he's playing it safe, he's playing for the four stock, let's see. Oh my god! I didn't expect him to go off stage there, so that... <laughs> oh, okay. SCJ going a little bit. <gasps> okay, he had he had an opportunity there, gets the back air, okay. At least, if you're overground, you go home and you say, okay, I took a stock. Um, you took a stock after, after, after one of the best Falcons in the world. I think you can... Okay, you got a little sequence there, though. I, I love the double up, up tilt. But um, continuing the platform combos is really tough on the stage because the platform. This is the highest side platform stage in the game, so getting up there in time. If you're not at the right percent, it's, uh, it's a beast. Gets out of that nair. The nair is a little bit high. It's probably you're trying to like beat a preemptive aerial out of shield or preemptive move out of shield. <laughs> that's gotta be. <laughs> that's such a disrespectful. Well, I don't even know it's disrespectful. It kind of. I mean, it worked. Okay, maybe it didn't work. <sighs> yeah. That sh push off when you're on the edge. You, you gotta be ready for it. Because, like, okay. You're holding shield. If you grab your. You get grabbed, you're messed up. Obviously, if you get hit, you know, on shield, it's probably what you want, but now you're on ledge and you gotta play that game. And, uh... A lot of times, like, in a, like a scramble situation like that, the person who gets hit the ledge is just gonna pick the fastest option they know. You know, just in, off instinct, and then, as you, as you saw, like, Overground went for the higher, like, the ledge hop aer aerial or whatever. But, SUJ beat him to the spot, so it didn't really matter. Yo, what's up, Nathan? <laughs> Sandy. I've been thinking about changing my tag to be honest with you. I'm thinking oh Okay. Oh yeah, I got you. Okay. I honestly like it's it's so early in bracket, you know. <laughs> I, I run my own tournaments, I run my own streams and I get I get the name wrong, so I just I just leave them. Yeah. The players, like, people, we, not a lot of people are watching. Most people are just going to watch the VODs to see their gameplay. So, we can keep it cool. But I'll, I'll let you know, yeah. So, in progress right now, Typhoon and Dark Wizard. Um, Rom and Arcadia is still playing. SFAT is playing Poppy Twig. I will, that's how it's said. So, if... You know, assuming the favorites all win their matches, we're looking at Shroomed versus Rom for winners round four. And I don't know if I've seen Rom play a lot of the Sheik matchup. I don't think I've seen him play against Shroomed or Spark or anything like that, but 
Rom is the Falco I see in my dreams, you know. I'm a Falco main now, and <laughs> every time I feel like I have an idea, I'm like, okay, I'm going to hit the people of NorCal with something new, something I've never seen before. I watched Rom VODs, and he's already doing it, so... <laughs> And then SFAD against the winner of Dark Atma Red Panda Master. Actually, Dark Atma Red Panda Master. I don't. I was on the NorCal. I was on the PR panel, and I don't remember them having a head, much of a head to head. But I imagine that's Sheik Marth, and I, I would take Atma over that in that, in that matchup. But that's not discount uh, Red Panda Master. He's kind of been kind of new on my radar, at least. I don't. I haven't. I don't follow the scene as closely as I used to, but. He's uh, definitely made a pretty solid debut on the PR this year. I think he was 8th at a blog right below Typhoon. And that is... I mean, people will say, like, oh, people left the PR, so maybe it's not as strong as the other year. But that kind of happens every year, so... I play these guys in bracket. <laughs> they're, they're, good, they're good to me, so... And then... We do have some... Losers runs in progress. I think Free Hops will probably make a good run... He's got, let's see, let me pull up the projected bracket. Sorry, I'm loading here. So, ooh, S2J versus Typhoon could be a lot of fun. Although S2J is very solid against Marth. We've seen his record against Zane. We've seen the match against Zane. And it speaks for itself, I'd say. Uh, Umar versus Spark. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I did get a brief chance to catch up with Spark today. It was good. Old. He and I used to, you know. We were both part of the Santa Cruz melee scene when he was going to UCSC, so <laughs> it's been a while since I've gotten a chance to get four stock climbing friendlies. So, uh, oh gosh, okay. yeah. So the losers bracket is going to be insane. Just looking at the projected matches in losers round four, which I believe loser would get a uh, thirteenth. It's looking like Arcadia versus Kebbot. <laughs> Dark Wizard versus Juma, Blarg versus Free Hops, and Red Panda Master versus True Alpha. Oh, hey, we got someone joining me. I'm gonna scoot over. What's up, friend? You are no longer alone. Yes, I'm Andy. Andy, nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Dennis. Dennis, nice to meet you too. How many times have you been on commentary, Andy? I don't know exactly how many times, but uh, usually I do pretty badly as a tournament, so I just <laughs> yeah find oh. some other way to occupy my time. You go two zero. Uh, I will put an asterisk by it and say that my my red trigger was jammed and I could not run. <laughs> John, John's. I mean, I almost won game one without being able to dash, so I, I consider that a win anyway. Okay, that's fair. In in Falco Mars, that's uh, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's how it'd be sometimes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not too sad about my two zero this tournament because I told myself that I would play my Falco secondary the entire way through. Mm -hmm. So, because I'm a Fox main, and uh, I was just like, I was, I'll just play Falco all the way through because I want to, you know open expand my horizons to i see i see to play that's honestly such a good way of looking at it i think i think going, going to every tournament with the expect, expectation of like i'm going to do insert you know well yeah can be kind of a it's like it you, can want, you out you want to do that well but like um i think the best i've ever gone is one two at this tournament mm. so i'm like you know what i've been practicing falco i've been trying to get him ready for some matchups i might as well have a tournament where i i pull the bird out yeah and try it yeah you and i uh, I did pretty bad against a Sheik player in my, my round one, and then... What was the tag? Uh, um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I got like... So, I did actually did so bad as Falco, I decided to pull out the Fox, and I did the exact same both ways. And then I just and then I had to play a Falco player mm -hmm. in my round one losers, and I almost... I could have beaten him. I could have really, beaten, right. beaten him. Yeah, it, it was literally like first, first game, Battlefield, I think I almost got two-stocked, but mm -hmm. kind of clutched it out and then game two fd it was last stock last hit so you know could have taken it a little bit longer those sets it's just whoever got the dog in them that day yeah they just got the they just <laughs> got the dog in them i mean i actually even if i lost you always got to take something out of the tournament and mm -hmm. this tournament something that i noticed personally has nothing to do with the game 
when I'm playing in a tournament set, I noticed that my brain wants to just look at anything and everything <laughs> that isn't the set. Oh, man. So You're what, speaking my language. <laughs> so what did I do? White noise. I now play blaring white noise. And all I can hear is the clicks of my uh, controller. Mm. It's really helpful. Meditative almost. It, it's very meditative, and it, it has pretty much helped me to like just completely focus on the game. I like I, that. It's, I still get nervous. Like That's the only thing that remains, but I can really focus on the game. No, yeah, honestly, like I've I've been running tournaments for a long time now, and <laughs> I've been running tournaments and, and Sparks been coming at them for a long time. He's always had the headphone setups like that. Yeah. He just because he grew up in the crucible of high school tournaments yeah. that I ran, and, and I don't know. Yeah. You <laughs> definitely learned to just get yeah. wired in. Yeah, it's loud here. You know, there's yeah. a lot of tournaments. It's always just constantly blaring. And your brain's trying to pick up random conversations. It's hard to tune it out, yeah. Yeah, and especially the, like your inner thoughts of like thinking. It's like some, I, I turn so long that I can't hear my inner thoughts, and then that way, all the self doubt gets blocked out. Mm -hmm. Some of the good neutral stuff gets blocked out too. <laughs> but I think it's a worth it trade off, in my opinion. You sound like a uh, inner game of tennis reader. Am I am I onto something? Uh, I've never never read the inner game of tennis. Mm -hmm. Well, that 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 inner monologue it talks about. You gotta. You gotta quiet that down. Yeah, you gotta quiet that down. And or you're too slow for melee. Yeah, I mean, hey, I figured it out. I figured out a way that works for me. Even if I lost today. Yeah. I still, still think uh, I've learned something good. Yeah, you definitely got always gotta learn from your losses. I think that's <laughs> that's the only way to get through this this game. Yeah. So. That's the only way to do it. So next matchup, Spark and Blarg. This will be interesting. This will be interesting. I'm a big blog lover myself. Mm -hmm. You know, Purple Fox, and he's... I don't know why. He has this aura around him that I cannot describe. <laughs> Blarg is a character. I've known Blarg for about... I've been, I've been playing him in bracket for maybe eight years now. You got yeah. the names backward, by the way. Sorry. Bl or actually... No. Wait. Yeah, well, oh, just the cameras are backwards. That's right. Backwards. Well, it, that's that's yeah. It's like how sense. like the last match I think they had S2J as a Falco player, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't Man. think. I think the last we, time we all we all know who is the S2J. We, we, all, know, match. we all know who S2J is, except for we all know what the what the Js are. We all know who the the Js. <laughs> and are. how many of them? S2J, J Fox, and what to do with J them? J Mood, <laughs> all the Js. Exactly. Playing all the lame characters. I think they just play all the characters. They play all the characters. Spark with Icy's. I Icy so. Kuraimas. Icy Kuraimas. He, bu he busted out. He de debuted Icy Kuraimas at one of my tournaments. So yeah, I'll, I'll always uh, I remember I heard hold that L. I remember I heard Spark was coming because I was <laughs> playing some friendlies. And immediately I just hear Freak Ups go, Guys, did you hear? Spark is coming. And I'm thinking, bro. The only reason that you're excited is because you're a Sheik main, bro. There's there's no reason <laughs> to get excited for Spark to, for Spark to show up. <laughs> Couldn't we, we just happen to see our, want to see our friend again after all these years? It's like, <laughs> bro, S2J is here, like Shroomed is here, and you're getting excited for Spark? I'm getting excited for Spark. Oh my boy. No. I've ridden hundreds of miles with the guy in the car. I haven't. If, if, you, if, you, if there's a long enough lull, he'll just start talking about Melee. Yeah, I mean, I'm new to the scene. Mm, how long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing the game since 2020. I've been competing since last year. Oh, sure. And uh, I've been watching since about 2016. Nice. I'm a, I'm a doc kid, for sure. Doc kid? Yeah. I'm a hungry box doc kid. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know why. I've met a lot of people who got interested in Melee from the HBox doc. Yeah, was that the, 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 the lemon? What's the channel uh, called? Uh, MP, EMP Lemon. EMP Lemon, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I could watch that video, but also I've, I've literally been watching like every Hunger Watch set like for the last like five years. <laughs> I kind of didn't know. You know. I was, I was there for it. You know the story. Yeah, I'm honestly, because I, I, I was a puff, puff, puff main for a long time, so. Really? Definitely watched a lot of HBox footage. Yep. You still enjoy puff occasionally? Well, that was a secondary. Yeah, I, I like uh, just trolling people and unranked a little bit. Yeah. That's All how right. it feels. All right. Back to the game. Blark's losing. <laughs> Omega. Oh, but you got an opening here. Yep. Oh, I'll go for the drill to cover the platform, but, uh. Yeah, it's, he can't really convert anything off of it here. Sheik's really powerful on the edge, so. But he is still in the crouch cancel range for one hit, mm -hmm. which is still good. Still kind of keeping it close here. One opening is all it really takes for Fox to really destroy Sheik if you have that good punish game, which I do know Blark has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these low percent punishes are really, really tough. As yeah. you can see, he, 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 he got the up throw there, but now he's getting tech chase for it. Yeah, up throw bear is kind of the only thing that's really safe against Sheik, and even then you have to read their DI and then hit the correct drift of your bear yeah. just to make sure that he doesn't punish you. 
I my uh my best buddy's a, a Sheik Sheik main, so mm. I play them all the time. <laughs> Sheik's always been my biggest bracket demon. Yeah. No yeah. matter how many hours I got, I got against her. I mean, I have faith in Bark. I think he can make the comeback here. I, I got faith in my boy Spark. You're not gonna drop this comeback here. Or drop this lead here. It's best of five. It's best of five. Oh, Funny it is. Time. Yep. Top twelve is best of five. Interesting. Which I think is hobby. So real for that, honestly. Yeah. I would never. I mean, the talent we got here <laughs> might as well. Yeah, that's true. Like seriously, round two, like the uh, winners round two was Kevbot versus like Shrooms or something, and mm -hmm. that was like insane. Or was yeah. It was Shroom S2J. Yeah. That was honestly a really good set. Mm -hmm. uh, game one goes to Spark. Yep. For taking an early lean in the set count. You know, I didn't even know Spark existed until King of the Cube. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I'd say that was, I wouldn't say that, that was his breakout, but I don't think he was that well known before that, outside of like NorCal and... Yeah, he was definitely a NorCal yeah, pe people like player. A, I really liked King of the Cube when it was running because as a spectator of the game, you only really know, need get to know like the top ten players, mm -hmm. and so like King of the Cube was a great way for me to like, oh, there are other people who are good at this game. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of funny. Like it, it, for me, I felt like it came full circle because one of Spark's original break breakouts in high school was when we organized a boss rush against Toph, and Spark took like six stocks from him, and then Toph tweeted out like, "Yo, this guy, this guy, these, these, these high school are pretty good." Excellent stock from from Blark. Yeah. Super crucial to get those like kills off the top on the yeah. stage. Uh, Sheik is also really to get get those uh, off the top kills. She's really weak on the come down, especially against Sharking. Oh yeah. She does have fast fall down air, which is theoretically unreactable according to Spark, but uh, it's kind of, still kind of cheese. Yeah, you can kind of, it's you can read it like ninety percent of the time. Mm -hmm. Tries to get the shine grab, but excellent spot dodge. I feel like in this matchup, navigating those close quarter situations is so important. Yeah, the scraps are especially important. I mean, it, both on the Sheik's end and the Fox end, because you get hit with that shine, you're taking a whole lot of damage, and you get hit with that grab on Sheik's end, you're also taking a whole lot of damage. Yeah, you really gotta like not get nervous in those situations and just play like the situation. Just oh wow! Okay. Excellent find on the up yeah. tilt there. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier to combo off of Fox up, up tilt than it is to uh, combo off up throw. Mm -hmm. So finding that up tilt, especially at those percents, is crucial. Right. Oh. Back I love throw. I love up smashing the grab. Yep. Excellent run through on that ledge dash. Nice Blark needle and. Blark had full confidence on that ledge dash, and yet still he's gonna. Oh wow! Situation. What a forward smash. Cut him tilt. Yep. Oh. Back air. Okay. And that should no. Nope. Oh, oh, that was almost it. Tried to CC there, but couldn't find the crouch in time. Mm -hmm. Don't throw. Spark making his money the way he knows how. Okay. Dude, she could just go so deep off of those th those uh, edge guard situations. Mm -hmm. It's still relatively close. All it takes is one stray bear, stray up smash. Even that situation could have found it. There's the bear. Really strong edge guard situation. She really struggles there, and yep, able to find it. Mm -hmm. Last stock. All right, Blarg doing a really good job of not getting, not losing, not letting Spark pull away here. Okay, okay, this is. Ooh, to stolen jump. Really hard to get Shark there. Blarg stuck. This is an excellent punishes. situation for Blarg because he still has such low percent that if she has to. Mix up grab or land straight forward airs. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets the dash tag though. But here's the grab. Can Spark <sighs> really take this the distance? Cannot. What's up, Billet? He's saying, let's go, Blarg. <gasps> oh! Okay, okay. <gasps> what a grab! Misses! This is so close. Dash attack. Come down to this and. Oh, oh my god! Still living! Nope. That was an absolute tragedy. I mean, if you're Blarg, that hurts. That hurts. That has to hurt, because he had it. Frames, to the Heartbreak Club. Frames late. He, he's probably thinking, I should have grabbed. <laughs> I know that's exactly what I think whenever I hit that. I'm like, should I grab her up, smash up? Whenever I lose RPS, I think I should have picked the other one, man. Yep. You're like, damn, what am, I'm so stupid. I had three options, and I chose the wrong one. No. Back on PS2. 
<laughs> just PS actually. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> I've watched Ultimate Commentary. I've no, watched, that's cool. <laughs> I've watched Kony way too much recently. That's how I know you're a sleepy kid. <laughs> actually, I've never played Ultimate more than like 10 hours. Ah. So I'm not an ult kid. Surprising. Well, maybe you're a PM guy then. <laughs> a lot of options for PS2. <gasps> okay. Dash deck. Oh, wow, misses this is the reverse fair. Yeah. Cloud Smash. I mean, Fox at, Fox at these percents is really hard to kill set, though, but does find the setup to take the stock. Mm -hmm. Guess in the, out of the situation with a well timed side B? I don't think that's what he meant to do. I'm, I'm giving him some credit. <laughs> I mean, even if he didn't mean to didn't mean to do that, if it was just supposed to be a shine, it was not a well placed shine, I'll tell you that much. But Spark. Oh, excellent find. The Sakurai combo. So I'm looking at a chat here, just in case. Yes. They need to put a chat on these screens, dude. I can never read chat. Okay, wow. He does find that grab. Oh, this is the drop zone. Oh, but still gets the sage. Tries to do, he tried to do the sage. Wow, what a clutch shine. Though. And the fast fall, perfect to get up ledge. And Back throw. Got him to find the shine. These grab situations are so tense. Clanks, but still gets the up tilt. Oh. Man, Sheik Danto is so good in those high percent situations. I, I love the logic billet. Yeah, this guy is cooked. Let me go watch the Lakers. <laughs> Lateral move. Yep. It's still close, actually, surprisingly. It doesn't feel close. But Fox is just one of those characters, man. You get a good enough opening, and all of a sudden you're even. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Good SDI to get out there. Man, people are people are so cracked at SDI nowadays. Mm -hmm. There used to be a time where up throw up air was guaranteed. <laughs> now nobody hits that shit anymore. Oh wow! The the IMX. <laughs> the the horrible angle on the up throw. Clark still in a living situation. Oh, oh wow! The, the jump what a read. <laughs> it's still tied up. Still close. Living on a prayer. Boy, I got that dog at him, low key. Low key, I'm telling you, bro. More gamer. Gets the grab, though. This could be it. This could just just be over. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, had, a, yeah. had a moment of chance there, but. Had a small <laughs> opening, but it's so hard to react to those if no mm, one catches the jump. And that's, that's gotta be it. Damn. That upper was a clip, though. Yeah, Blarg was not happy with that one. I mean, Blar's a good player, but Spark, Spark is also a pretty <laughs> good player. The refs rigging it for refs? Interesting. Hmm? I'm looking at Billets talking yeah, about the Lakers game. It. Apparently, the also refs are rigging, rigging it for the refs. Bro, that's just all sports in general. <laughs> They'd just be doing it for the for the outrage. D yeah. Like you. <laughs> Dude, the referees absolutely suck at their job. I think they cool. realize that making the bad calls gets more press than the, make, than the good play happening. It gets more of a reaction. Mm -hmm. They're like, all, all refs have just decided, I'm going to play the heel today. <laughs> just constantly like 2015 H-Box. <laughs> That's all they do. He said this every single day. The worst part is there's so many of them that they don't get the H-Box hate. Because you can't target them. <laughs> and people have their own refs that they like because they, they rig it for them. That's how it is. It could be like that. It do be like that. The NBA is an entertainment company, exactly. Yeah, Joe. that's how it is. It's like how McDonald's is a real estate company. <laughs> exactly. That's true, by the way. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're bigger assets to land they own. Yep. Their biggest asset is land, uh, sale, whatever. Rado Joe, what's up, Rado? How you doing? Alright, who are we getting? Rom versus Shroom. The Shroom. I was saying, I don't... I remember seeing a lot of Rom versus Sheik footage. Or I haven't seen a lot of it, but uh, I'm very curious to see what he's got. Well, what I have heard is is that Shroom sucks against Fox. I don't know how good he is against Falco, though. <laughs> I... So, if he also sucks against Falco, there's a chance that Rom takes this. Or gets upset. But, you know, Shroom is Shroom. Mm -hmm. Dude practices 15 minutes a day and just shows up to tournaments. <laughs> They, they played a nightlife and it was really close and then Rom lost to an SD. Okay, that okay. kind of 
Makes sense to me. That gives me a little hope that this could be an exciting set. Yeah, I think that like, it's interesting because Ram is like, I, I consider him like a hyper modern Falco. Like everything you do is like fresh out the lab, I swear. Yeah. And Shroom to someone who like has all those years of experience. I, I don't know how much time you've been in the lab these days, or how much time you've been practicing. No time. No so time at all. We'll see how those like two ideals clash here, you know what I mean? You got yeah. the old head versus the up and comer. You, you got the old head who's very field based, basically doesn't practice versus the up and coming labber. Alright. Starting on battlefield, very classic yeah. start. Yeah, so one position I have a really hard time in this matchup with is when like I'm on stage and the Sheik's on the platform and they start like throwing the needles, I'm like, I'm just gonna hit. Yeah. And then they come down on me. That's definitely something that I have to figure out myself, right? Because then you just get hit by the random needles and just get grabbed and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, and even if you don't get grabbed, like, you're still getting your movement interrupted and yeah. it, like, messes with your ry rhythm and stuff. And, like, you don't know how many ne needles you're going to take, so it's not like Falco is you can can't practice for it. It's like having to practice how to learn, like, when to shine after Fox Drill. You never I mean, know. you can react to the head. You can't react to that, but it's a little harder to react to the needles. True. Ooh. Unfortunate. SD from Rom. Ooh. He didn't need that stock, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, he was only at 34%, so... You're just getting data. Yep. Getting the data. Oh, wow. What a top on tech chase. Nice recovery there. It's super tricky to get the ledge there. And, wow, okay. Converts off the top. 69%. Love me some single hit up off the top. I think that's a crucial Falco kill move. Bro, Falco uppers is one of the best moves in the game, so cap. That is cap. That is straight up false. No, no, no. <laughs> Not no, even no. like top fifty. Bro, I swear it's so good when you know what to do, how to do, how to deal with it. In some situations, it's better than Fox up air. Dead ass. Name one. Uh, you know how you do, do you do single hit up to up air and uh. Oh the shoot! Oh the zoo! That's that's sick. Yeah, up. Falco up air is better for that. <laughs> Alright, does get the fair. It was looking really close at the start, but that SD really kind of messed with Rob. <laughs> worst top tier up air, honestly. Cool. Alright. Rob, a little bit back in the game. But does have a bit of a hill to climb here. Mm -hmm. Does it the shield grab, but it's hard to convert off the combos like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like at these really low percents, you gotta get, just get your percent run. Like you really just don't want to get yeah. reversed. Falco is one of those characters where you could have some insane combos, but in certain characters at low percents, Shine Dare just does not work as well as it should. At these percents, you can really get do some damage with Shine Dare, but at those early percents, you're getting like a Shine, a Bear, a Shine, or a Dare, and then you're running. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple lasers in between to finally get some combos going. Yeah, my goal a lot of times is just like if I can get like 10% with lasers before I go in, like that, that would make it so much, like so much easier. Yeah. Uh, Bill's saying you can do the zoo with foxes up, up here too. Yeah, but you get it's a lot easier to S SDI on foxes up there. There we go. Oh, no actual combo started off of that. Mm. Kind of a big combo, but... Oh, that, okay. Yeah. I love the up air. And, and guess another, yeah, one. This is another one. Nice lead on uh, FD. FD, one of those stages that's really good for Falco. Um, it's hard for Sheik to escape to the platforms. Because they don't exist? Because they literally do not exist. They are non-existent on this stage. This is true. FD, guys, has no platforms. Guys... You heard it here first. Guys, listen. You're about to get some high-level <laughs> matchup knowledge right now. Did you know that Final Destination has no platforms? It's actually an Easter egg in reference to the mm, Nice forward smash to cover the up, up that landing lag. And uh, Shine Bear here. Yep. I would have just up down tilted, but I mean, maybe the percent wasn't right. Down tilted? I don't... It's only around this percent where you can really hit him with a down tilt. I think that's guaranteed. It's not nowhere near as good as Fox up smash. Oh, you hate to see 
jumping into those needles, mm -hmm. especially with such a lead. Shine Bear, though, all oh, so close to taking him out. And uh, that should be it. Or at least it's one more miss with mix-up. There we go. I gotta say it, I don't know if that's like the ROM, but that's a ROMism, that forward smash to, off the ledge. Yeah. It's a ROMism. You'll, you'll, you'll observe it in the, uh, the NorCal PR combo videos coming out soon. NorCal PR combos? Yeah. Damn. Me and my friend are working on that video for that. I'm never gonna get in that shit. Maybe one hey man, day. don't count yourself out. You just started. Yeah. I'm very recent, but you know, I want I want it all. Mm -hmm. I'm a greedy motherfucker. Most of the guys who are like fresh on the PR have been playing for like eight years, so. Yep. I mean, hey all. Cody's been playing for, what, eight years now? Nine years? J Mook's been playing for even longer. It just takes a long ass time to get good at melee, guys. Yeah. <laughs> don't count yourself out. That's how it is. Oh, that grab was insane. Yeah, Shroom looking like he just... Like, Rom's not playing any, anything particularly poorly, just... Yeah, Shroom is just a, a better player right now. And I'm not surprised. Like, what's he rank right now? We can't even see what he is because of how long it's going to take for the total <laughs> rank to come out. Uh, Rom is third on the PR. Well, in NorCal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But Shroom's... Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't even know, like, where he'd be ranked. He'd probably... He probably might Schrodinger's be. top player. Schrodinger's top player. Okay, this is... <sighs> I don't want to be a cliche Mr. Commentator, but this is doable. Yeah, this is doable. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep. Chump checks him with the gut up attack. That's something. Yep, doesn't spot dodge. So, the grab and... Uh... That was a really nice recovery sequence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Even though, like, Rom is a good player, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. This is. We got some killers here tonight. Oh, yeah. This is. One of the best Guildhouse, like, lineups I've, ever, I've seen in a while, so. Yeah, it is. It is. Most certainly. I mean, you, when you got players like S Fat, S2J, yeah. and Shroom showing up. And True Alpha. And True Alpha. And, you know, Umar, who's. I mean, he's here every week, mm -hmm. but. Still. Oh, that forward smash was so meaty. Oh, he gets up too early, though. Yeah. You got some juice on that one. I mean, most players should be proud to even take a stock of some of these players. <laughs> yeah. I know I'd be happy if I took a stock off of Shroom. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, I was playing uh, Shroom at a NorCal tournament back in like 2018, and he had like his little cousin there, so I'm like little nephews, and I was like, yo, can I, I want to be like, can I play one of them instead? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if they're also got like. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, what if I just lose to them? Because they're just like. Because they play Shroom all the time? <laughs> yeah. That Shroom's 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes a week is when his little cousin comes over, beats the shit out of him, and he's like, alright, I'm feeling good. I'm done. That's mm -hmm. all I don't need anymore. Yeah, those those nares are really, really tough to play as against Falco because like he's jumping the gun and he's like pressuring your shield in a way too. Yeah, Nair is actually just as strong as uh forward air. And on startup you mean? Or just like in general? On startup, yeah. So it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's it's I mean everyone in NorCal has now experienced the Sammy Nair, you know, first it's the Spark Nair. Yep. I should that's a monster. Yeah, that's all it is. And like the I think what's really nice about it is like the, the forward size of it is really because she kind of sticks out her leg and then she retracts yeah. it when she lands yep oh wow that call that out dash up down smash dude what a call out <laughs> bill is talking shit about the basketball game the basketball game i feel like basketball is one of those sports that i like it's the one i respect the most Interesting. Yeah, because, like, I don't watch a lot of sports, personally. Like, none at all. But whenever it's basketball on, I'll always watch it. Mm. Okay, he's, he's really going in with these, da with these dash up grabs. Yep. That's the Sheik, bro. So I'll take wow, that, that, getting out of that jab was insane. Doesn't mm -hmm. L cancel the dare leading to no Arbitrary fall button inputs, but he, uh... Yeah. 
basketball is the melee of sports. I'm, I'm down for that. It's weird to compare a team game to a not team game, in yeah, my opinion. I would, I would say tennis is the melee of sports, but... Uh, but, like, there isn't really any good, like, 1v1 sports out there. Like, what? Like what? Tennis? I, I would pick tennis because it's first to four. Yeah. Although tennis is crazy because there's no timer. You just you play the two wins and yeah. you can just take forever. MMA? That's true. Boxing? But, like... MMA and boxing in general, that just kind of relates to the FGZ in general. Tech chase I, I don't know much about any like, fighting or combat sports, so I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, the only one I've watched at all is Sumo. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with brothers. I like how we're getting like one third of the screen for the last dog, last dog situation between yeah. these top two, two seeds. Yeah. Now they change. Yes, let's get Rom getting wrecked by Shroomed in full screen right here. Right hey, now. He made the, oh, no. <laughs> nope, he's gone. He's dead. One more mix-up. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. yeah, he's gone. Shroom gets up. Shout out to Rom. I mean, you're playing like the best, one of the best players. One of the best players. The Juan Energy McDaniel, dude. They call him Energy. His tag isn't even Energy. <laughs> it's the middle name. It's the middle name. See what else we got going on, bracket. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Who's won? Let's see. Let's see what's going on on winners' side. What, what, what are the secret sets that have been going on? That's projected. Yeah, I know. What's going on here? Okay, SJ beat Shroomed. Oh no, that's projected. Well, oh, that's projected. My bad. So, so that's yeah. looking like our, our next set on the winners' our semifinals. Next, so next we get SJ versus Shroomed, which is probably going to be a slobber knocker. That'll be a good one. That will be a classic. On the other side of bracket, on the other side of winners, we got S Fat Sh Spark coming up. Okay, okay. That'll be. Yeah, same, same, same deal. That's a slobber knocker right there. Mm -hmm. S Fat has been residing in Davis, I believe. I believe going to school up there. Um, so there is an interesting debate amongst the, the NoCal PR panelists about whether or not S Fat should be ranked this year. I I, th I think at the end of the day it's not that big of a deal because like people know who Aspet is. You yeah, know? I mean, it's not like we're sliding him or yeah <laughs> depriving him of publicity. Yeah, it, that's kind of how it is, right? Mm -hmm. Like PR is like it's kind of a deal, but like your local PR in the like the grand scheme of like top one hundred players, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter much to you. Yeah, I was kind of on board. Like I was trying to like maybe find like a compromise. Like what if we'd have like a like a sponsored player section where it's like. These players are like like pros that like mostly travel outside of, uh, you know, I mean, local area to, to compete. I guess, but like, like once you've broken into the top 100, you're pretty solidly there. Like going to your local tournament is more of a formality, maybe to help grow the scene. You know, if you especially you know if you're popular, you're like. Oh, I'm just gonna come here, and maybe some people are like, "Oh my gosh, you're S Fat! Like, you're real! I watched the documentary." And you're like, "Yeah." I man. was definitely that kid who was like, "Oh my god, it's S Fat!" Like in my first tournament. Yeah. First tournament. Uh, what was your first tournament, actually? My first tournament. It was this uh, guild house. It was. Um, That's a good one. Just a guild house I showed up to. I went to, actually during like quarantine or something. Some of my friends invited me to come here, and I noticed they had some. Uh, they were, I think they were running an ultimate tournament, and it turns out they were running a melee tournament as well. Ah, okay. And so I was like, okay, I guess I'll go here, and it's been great ever since. I mean, I met so many. Your Guildhouse, I'm so we're we're so blessed to have a tournament like Guildhouse, in especially in San Jose, because yeah. like it's not that far for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. There's just a ton of cool people here, dude. I met some excellent friends here, mm -hmm. like um, Coiled Over Josh, who. Excellent stream, by the way. He also runs a controller modding shop, and he has modded all of my controllers. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... What a guy. Maybe he can fix my R button. Yeah. In case you didn't know who Coiled Over is, if you watched the most recent Summit, Coiled Over contributed, like, three of the four controllers in the wacky controller bracket, mm -hmm. including the guitar. Nice. Which is what he plays on. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen that. I haven't gotten to play him yet, but... uh. I have. He's a monster. I believe it. He hasn't he hasn't beaten me yet. Oh, okay. So it looks like we got. Oh, right, we're starting Dreamland again. Same place that uh, Blarg started against uh, Spark. Yeah, Espas. Let's see if uh, it works S out better for Espas than, S than Blarg. Did. Not finding the angle. Yeah, got kind of went for the write up, but uh. Yeah, that write up angle can be hard to judge. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Tries goes for the short hot up air. 
at those at those things you want to go for the wave shine short up air to another up air. Mm -hmm. Can be a little difficult. Yeah, it looks like Spark had the kind of play ready though. Nah, it was just that S Fed did a full hop up air instead of short hop. Ah. And I was thinking because of shine like oh whoa. Whoa. Looks like they're still playing. Oh, we're back. oh okay, okay. Okay, and Spark managed. I mean, uh, S Fat managed to. Good stuff, S Fat. Good stuff, S Fat. We are getting a little bit of delayed audio. Dude, this is this is like one of those like situations that I consider to be melee hell. You're, you're stuck in the corner and she and shield and she's coming down at you. You don't know if she's needling, bearing, or nearing. Yeah. It's like get me out of here. I swear to God, if you roll, that like they're just gonna nair on top of you. Yeah. There's always a situation where in any, every matchup where it's just you're like, oh fuck, this is hell. That's where you you be hacks money and you just go to ledge. Yeah. You do the strat. <laughs> Where you you sh you sh you stall, you laser, and then you ledge dash, and then you run away. Perfect mm. ledge dash. Hypothetically, that is the strat. Picked up that back air. Yep. Managed to even it back up. Yeah. Let's get the back throw. Oh. Geez. From what I from what I observed in chat, there seems to be no physics fans. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm I'm on my way up. No physics fans? Nobody nobody fan of you? I got a lot of haters. You got a <laughs> lot of haters? How no. did you manage to pick up haters? Uh <laughs> You know Twitter. What <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> what type of shit you posted on Twitter to get yourself haters? I, I can tell you don't follow me on Twitter. I don't. Never seen you before in my life. I just saw some dude wearing a rose shirt. And I'm like, ah, whatever. I'll hop out on comms. That's, that's what's up. Yeah. Now we're friends for life. Now we're friends for life? Yeah. Whole life? Yep. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, as long as you keep going to melee tournaments, I'm, I'm your friend. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's forcing me to keep oh, in. Oh, he missed the fair, but still got another fair? Quality Twitter follow. Hey, that's Thank what's up, Rado. Speaking of which, I don't post anything on Twitter. I retweet it. But my retweets are bangers, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that, uh, that's honestly like not a bad niche to have. It's just like you're just spreading good content around. Yeah, that's that's what I do. So Dude, I like playlists. Play like you know how, the, how there are people out there who are all like. Okay, this is going down the wire. Oh, S that. Okay, honestly, I feel bad for not commenting that better. S that did make a comeback there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, definitely. If you're looking to, you know, compete at Genesis. This is the best practice you'll get. A, because the venue is right next to the Genesis venue. It is. It is literally like two blocks away. So like, not only will you have like the gameplay you know, practice, you'll also have the, the navigating the area practice. Yep. <laughs> knowing, knowing like the food matchup, the bathroom matchup, all that stuff's crazy. Yep, yep, yep. The bathroom matchup? Hey, sometimes you gotta know. Sometimes you gotta know, man. Audio is still delayed here. I think the production is trying to fix that. I don't know if that's on our, just on our end or on the stream's end as well. <laughs> Damn and production. Hit some of the back air. It's not, yeah, the audio isn't too bad. Oh, okay, this is back, oh, right, back in that situation. I feel like in that situation, he wasn't quite in the corner. He may have had like a buffer option, like buffer roll, buffer jump, mix up, or even just wave dash back, but it's it's hard to like judge that in real time. Plus Ooh, you gotta deal with the hits done. She could take these stocks so easily, and yep, there it is. Wow, two stocks down off of S-Fat and Spark only at 18%. Yeah, probably not happy about loot dropping that last game, so. Yeah. Oh, gets the grab out of that needle pressure. This fat changing the timing <gasps> of his double jump. He's not blocked though, he doesn't got the upper combos. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Nice grab. Excellent just kind of tries to read with an up smash. Sometimes the Sheik you gotta be like, I'm gonna just grab it if you come at me, you're 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 messing up. <laughs> It's so weird watching like top cheeks just not go for the RT for like complete RTC, mm -hmm. even though I'm playing a guy who only goes like two two who has perfect RTC <laughs> with cheek. Well, you also got to consider like the level of defense that this uh, face is playing. Well, yeah, but RTC is really really hard to escape when I give a good cheek play. Yeah. Oh, down smash! You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first, folks. RTC is good. Good but hard. 
good. It is very hard. I, I still am not good at getting second place. Yeah. One thing that's interesting about this tournament, uh, I, I was talking to Spark, you know, before Bracket started because I know he's not the biggest fan of monitors, and to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan either. But I think I, I tell him like, I don't play on any mo on any monitor setup except for this, these ones because these are these are legit. Like, Javi really knows what he's doing. Well, Iron Adam is not Iron Aiden. It's not exactly two two. I'm over a three two. Or name's Waddles. Practice. This is my practice partner. I, I would love to get grabbed by Waddles and confirm his, his perfect reacting deck chases. It's not like exactly perfect, but it's like they always go for it. So you get hit by it a lot. Spark. Yeah, you get hit by often that your fun goes for a lot, a lot. Yep. Spark taking the second game of the set. It's 1 1 right now. Best of five situation. So, you know, Spark able to kind of get the momentum back in their favor. Now you got to deal with uh, the stage. Now I've talked to Zade about this uh, stage, although it was a long time ago, back before he really even considered stage. But what he told me at the time was like, if you're not that reliant on platforms, then this isn't horrible. But I think at some level, like you just, yeah, you just wish you had the platforms. So yeah, you, you can, you can, you can like make work your kind of work your opponent's counter pick as much as you can, but. Yeah. You know, it's still a counter pick at the end of the day. It's a counter pick at the end of the day. Like, I, like if I'm basically going against Marth, like I'm gonna make it as hard as possible for them, but it's it's still their counter pick. Oh, that is a disgusting shine coming up from S Fat there. Mm -hmm. Does the shine wait, and then does an instant double jump shine to catch up? Yeah, I feel like the story of the set so far has been like one player takes the first two stocks really fast, and then the rest of it's a grind. Yeah, that's kind of that is actually how it's seeming. It's early leads and then grinding down your opponent. Yeah, so I guess what I th to conclude the point is uh, Spark is actually pretty comfortable on these setups. He's got his audio setup. The, the lag isn't bad. Yeah, as long Spark as you as long as you have your audio setup, it's a still it's a little bit easier to react to things. Yeah, yeah. Spark is like probably one like the earliest people to really make sure he had the audio cues because he, he relies on the reaction so much. I just realized F S Fat is yeah. up, was up three stocks. If we see a reverse four stock here, there's no way, right? There's no way there's a reverse four stock. Uh, I believe. I want to believe in something. You want to believe? You don't Be believe in anything? Me, <laughs> I believe in Spark. Let's That's go. It. I believe in Japanese breakfast. Japanese what? Breakfast band. Never mind. Okay. Oh, music fan here. I should have known with that type of sweater. <laughs> Wait until you see, take off the sweatshirt. I take off the sweatshirt and you'll see what I'm wearing. Listen, but, uh, there's only one type of merch that looks like that, and that's band merch. Yeah. There's no way, right? There's absolutely no way. He's right. doing it right now. Just, come on, S Fat. Okay. Drop Sedge Guard there. Big Nair. S Fat, please. Please don't make this happen. Wow. Okay, Sparks Ledge Play right there. <sighs> wow. In innovative. Innovative stuff. Okay, thank goodness. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. He, yeah, he's gone there. But Spark is going to the next game with the momentum. Music and joy physics. Thank you. I, yeah. I, I appreciate that title. Yeah, music and joy physics. Yeah, but Spark is going into the next game with the momentum. Like, even if he did lose on the counter pick, he was blazing through S Fat stocks. And even that's why you still want to play out those losing games. Because even then, you can still set up some things and make Thank sure you feel out. Okay. <gasps> if you think the sure is nice, you should see the fade. It fades out to a nice red, crimson red color. Yeah, I kind of wish the bottom half were visible, but it's cool. Yeah. The brick. <laughs> the brick does it again. Esfrada. <laughs> Mickey Mouse went over a spark in the last stage. Steven Cursive. Oh. And I feel like s -Fat keeps accidentally running off with those nares. And somehow he makes it back. I could not make those back. Oh wow, okay. Just calls out the holding shield on the top platform. Did he just crazy double grab. jump and wave land to grab? He did. He did indeed. Bro, who is this guy? Who is Spark? <laughs> He's a mysterious guy. He's got that <laughs> spark in him. Oh. 
Yeah, the fire that would destroy it. Oh. What a grab. These I grabs are just hard calling out. Love the empty land stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was okay. that? That was some blur camera tricks right there. Yeah. I don't know who was tricking who, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I was about to say, dude, if he made that back, he could have too. Cheek is known for doing that type of shit. That's the KDJ. He's like, edge guarding away. That's just rude. Ah, <laughs> oh, misled Dash. That's fat. You gotta go for one. Yeah. <laughs> you eventually gotta go for one. Most dashing is hard. Okay. Estad is doing such a good job of zoning out Spark right now. Uh-huh. There's the grab. And yet the grab comes through There's anyway. There's no way Spark... Oh, oh, he went all in on that. <laughs> okay, okay. Down here? The bear? Okay. Spark gets these, right? Yeah, he gets those. Quality back air? Now, this is doable. We saw Spark take back-to-back -back stocks last game. That is true. And in, in any matchup, like, against Fox, like, if you, if you know, like, a... <gasps> Okay. Okay. A good like quick kill confirm. You can you can you can shake their confidence up just a little bit. He's trying to go for these down smash reads, but it's definitely and that this is just gonna be at the loop again. This is kind of a oh, what a recovery. He's always trying new things with those recoveries. I, I call any air dodge on just stays the Amza. <laughs> I feel like recovering with Sheik sometimes is the illusion of free will. Yeah. You're getting... <laughs> like, when you're in those scenarios and you're up being... It's, a, it's a formal formality at that point. I right, guess so we're getting the jacket off now. Revealing... B-Sweet. Japanese breakfast. We stand half-Asian queen... I don't know what that means. Oh, the singer's half Asian. Oh, I see. Wait, why does the, why does the color look different in the camera? Look at it. Oh, Raise your arm. It's camera. orange. Why is it orange? Lighting stuff. Lighting yeah. stuff? That's stupid. Oh, question the complicated things. Yeah. All right, who do we got next? Uh, it's looking like Sheik Ditto, so I'm thinking it's Dark Out. Oh, no, no, it's not Sheik Ditto. It's I looking see, like I Shroom see, versus SUJ. I see Shroomed up there. Yep, mm. and I see SUJ up there. All right, this is going to be interesting because I honestly haven't seen these two play in a long time, I don't think. And I haven't seen much S2J chess recently. I got to say, I feel like this is just going to be dead even because these guys have been playing for so long. I feel like they're, they're teammates too. Like, they teamed a lot. Yep. And, uh... Man, they're playing immediately. They're already there. I'd say these are two definitely of, like, two of the innovators of this matchup for a long time. Yeah. It's, like, not a whole lot of high level Sheik and Falcons have had that much practice with each other. I guess Plup and uh, Wizard Rope are another duo. Yep. Honestly, Spark and MW. <laughs> Spark and Nick and Wit. I feel like Sheik Falcon is like kind of a classic matchup in a way. It is one of those classic matchups, but it's also very hard for Falcon. Yeah. I feel like there have been times when Falcons are like really bringing it close to like Stomp stuff, uh, Rack and Tech Chase stuff. Yep. But Fal Sheik's always finding a, 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 like an, an answer, so. Or yep. like another thing to. Okay, well, okay. There's okay, the knee. Okay. SOJ, up to the first stock of the set. Mm -hmm. Tries to get the back air, send trim off. Oh, what a grab. Oh. Butt grab. Okay. Uh, fun fact. Th oh! I didn't work out, but I uh, I love it. I thought he hit that down air. <laughs> he's so real for that. He's so, he's so real for that. Ooh, I love the the the, oh, don't the stomp to cover platform. That that F smash, mm. forward smash. That net, that combo was kind of nasty. Not gonna lie, and gets it. I'm glad to know you're not lying. Yeah, I don't play these characters much, so I haven't I haven't played this matchup like much at all. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be honest. I know Sheik is technically has the advantage, but I I've as a I've played Sheik. Mm -hmm. I've never played this matchup before. I feel like it's got kind of like the the grappler effect for like Falcon gets messed up a lot, but if he gets like any opening, you know, I guess that's kind of the nature of Falcon in a lot of matchups is yeah. he can just kill you so quickly off those openings. And that, that's kind of what keeps him alive in the top tier meta is yeah. his ability to touch a death and okay, almost. No, but he can still force, oh, misses it. Still gets the snap player. Stop, knee, doesn't hit it. Oh. <gasps> Catching my breath here. Oh my god. Uh, you've been catching your breath. <laughs> How 
second. Dash tag. Gonna force him to ledge and back air. Yeah, that was a, <laughs> a very deep mind game where like he did, did not cover ledge. <laughs> he just didn't cover ledge and Shroom still went there. That's how you know these guys have been playing for forever. <laughs> yep. It's like when you're watching Rivals of Aether and then you just see two top players who've been playing each other for years. Something I do a lot, yeah. They're both, yeah. <laughs> and they're just, I, I watch a ton of Rivals of Aether and they're just always parrying each other every mm -hmm. single time because they just know each other that well. Oh, yeah. And that scene is like pretty insular, so like those guys, you know, those guys scrap with each other. It's like watching Moki and Zane play mm -hmm. in a way in tournament because you're like, Man, I don't Oh, what a read! The charge out smash! Okay, the okay, okay, okay. Reverse fair! Ooh! Doesn't catch anything. Oh. Down air read. Dude, That's I love the corner play. I, I've been talking to my friend about. Okay, actually, this game is still going. I'll talk more about it later. Okay. It's the bear. Forcing off stage. Okay, what do we got here? A bear! Okay. One there. Forward tilt. tilt. Okay. One more mix up. Oh, he lets okay, him back. Okay, okay, okay. He lets okay. him back. Doesn't do the what Scar would say and just press the R button. <laughs> just press the R button. Frozen. Oh. One more knee. There we go. Nice. But yeah, I was talking to my friend of mine, uh, PG Trouble, a Guilty Gear player. You uh, used to play Melee a lot. Yeah. When you have your opponent in the corner, you got to give him just enough space to make a mistake. Yep. You got to give him just enough space to ledge dash at you, especially if they're on edge. I like the saying, uh, the early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Yep. That's what Melee is. You got to you got to get the second cheese. <laughs> you got to be the second mouse. You got to be the second mouse. A lot, of time, a lot of the time, you know. Oh, the slide off leads to a oh. massive reversal there. Oh! <laughs> Kiss yeah. the oh. nip spike. We, we saw another... Uh, nip. Yeah, we saw that nipple spike last game to cover the platform. That time he gets another spike out of it. Dude. Oh, an air to grab was so nice. Does roll up a little too early. <gasps> wow, what a coverage on the ledge there. Oh! Dude, SJJ's <laughs> going off on Shroom right now. Okay, okay, okay. Catches him with the up air. What is he cooking? There. Okay. What is he? What was he cooking? <laughs> the question is, who's the YouTuber and who's Thanos? <laughs> oh, which of these two players looks more like Thanos? Another empty line grab. Those are uh, in style today. Nice. You have so much time on the up beat, uh, landing lag to punish it. I just feel like SJJ is in control right now. Yeah. Oh. His stomp reads are just absolutely disgusting right now. Yeah, I feel like on Yoshi's story, it's so small that like once you get like the the stage controls, like you just yeah. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, you're just you're just controlling the whole game. Yeah. Slowing out with this bear. Does get the scar jump. Oh, don't see many too many uh, Falcons using that side beat. Does he make it back? He does not. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Shroomed, making this even. Yeah, Spark mentioned that to me, that, that the monitor felt better. I, I was telling him, like, Javi is on that stuff. Like, you, I know you know your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Javi, one of the best TOs I know. Yeah. I, I, I was telling him, Javi, uh, these are the only monitors I'll play on, like, in bracket. Uh, yeah. I do not play on online tournaments. <laughs> oh! <Ooh. gasps> okay. Production. Come on. He got, he got the kill, he got the kill. We're all good, we're all good. <laughs> We also we have to remember that the you know the staff here is also new to the community. Yeah. So we gotta treat, treat them with the respect as as players as well. Yeah. So I, I <laughs> do this. Do you the screens get faster? Does the mind does mind get slower? Mm. Hibs, webs are hitting us with the philosophical question while we're yeah. trying to commentate this game. Do of you the screens get faster, or does his mind get slower? It's all about relativity. Yes. I Only like, someone knew about that I stuff. I feel like Ralph, SJ, Zach are the big three in NorCal right now. True, dude. I feel like Ralph is gonna go off this year. Is that just me? Uh, I feel like Ralph went off last year. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, but I'm talking about big go off this year, like in a big way. I, I'll, I'll never, I'll never count him out on anything. I'll never root against him. Yeah. But uh, not, not, 
I don't want to, you know, shade anyone. Espad and Zach, you know, two of the staples of NorCal, but if I'm picking two, three people to represent NorCal right now, I'm picking Ralph, I'm picking Umar. Yeah. And I know Rom, I guess, because those are the top three on the PR. Yeah. I mean, Ralph, <laughs> Umar, and Rom are like the, in my mind, the big three of like, oh, yeah, I see them in everything. Mm -hmm. Even then, I wouldn't even pick Rom. I'd pick Typhoon, because Typhoon oh. goes to everything, too. Love me some Typhoon. That I've been, I've been, that's another guy I've known for a long time. I've been playing for a while. God, Typhoon is such an enigma, man. <laughs> He's been to Santa Cruz three times, and each time was to visit me. <laughs> Who is Typhoon, dude? Uh, hopefully he gets on stream and I'll talk. I'll tell everything I know about him because he and I are. Dude, we, we've been hanging out a lot. The dude only eats Taco Bell. <laughs> that, he has an entire diet of exclusively Taco Bell meat. Dude, what I've learned about being a top male player is you gotta just eat like uh, nothing. <laughs> you like <laughs> you like shit, to be honest. Not Put all your mental stack away from food and into into melee. I'll be the first healthy eater top player. <laughs> the first. <laughs> yeah. I, I respect that. Yeah, you gotta innovate out of game sometimes too. Umar and Ralph show up to everything. Like, I remember. Like, well, Ralph's not here. <laughs> yeah. Umar's. I saw Umar here. What are you talking about? Yeah, Umar's here. Ralph's here. Yeah. Dude, I remember the. I remember when I was showing here. Like, the joke. I mean, obviously, S Fat is healthy. You, you, we've all seen the clip of Hugo posted. Posted. Where it's just S Fat oh, Ralph? chomping on a giant broccoli. What's up, Ralph? How you doing? Yeah, Umar lives, does live way closer. Oh! I mean, the I worst fair was so nice though. I remember when the joke the joke was like Umar coming coming to Guildhouse to pick up his weekly paycheck. <laughs> Bro, it's better than Arcadia just coming down to steal our beans. <laughs> the bean stealer. The, the the man in the hills comes down to steal our are good. Here goes a fair here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a question. Does Shroom get one on the board? Looking pretty good for him because so far. Because I feel like this this top this like top eight I think has just been or top twelve even has just been three O's. That's all I've been seeing. Mm hmm We did get a pretty good set between SFAT and, and Spark, but other than that it's been pretty it, it's been I, I would have hated to have helped hyped up this set and then it's just a quick 3-0, but <laughs> at least we've got to, ooh, some good stuff along the way. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how we are like, oh man, here comes Spark and <laughs> this guy is going to be a great set 3-0. Yeah, um, I, I don't like the... Exchange <laughs> room, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty even 3-0. Yeah, sometimes at the local, like, I'm not going to like have the match too. Like, let's just see what happens. I mean, it's locals, right? Who cares? Yeah, we're, just, we're, here, we're here to prep for Genesis. We're yeah, not here to... that's exactly... That's the only reason... This is the party. PSAT. Yeah. <laughs> like... Like exactly, people don't come. Okay, this here could be this could be it. People come here for the vibes, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, shrooms on the board. You can be over my dog, bro. Yep. That's my dog. He's got that dog. In. We're the biggest dog. All right. So shrooms finally taking uh, taking a game on the board. Making this an actual set. The question mm -hmm. is, does Shroom reverse 3-0? Or does SJ just win? That's my question. Okay, yeah, this is a very aggressive game so far. Definitely definitely a slobber knocker, as we were saying. Yep. I was hoping for a slobber knocker. I was hoping to see something get real close. And honestly, I like both of these players, so I'm truly an unbiased commentator here. I'd like to see anything and everything, mm -hmm. as long as it's close. Oh my god, he jabs and then just catches the uh, the defensive maneuver. Sometimes I, I like forget what they actually did, so I just say like defensive maneuver. Yes. Where they do something, you're like, oh wow, that was hype. I was definitely watching it's like It's like one of your dreams, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's happening so fast that you just wake up and you go, oh, I had this crazy dream where... Wait, what the fuck just happened? Oh, that's why I couldn't run today in bracket. I was dreaming. You're a dreamer? <laughs> uh, not recently. Dream of all the shield, t all the insane shield pressure you can pull off. Lately, I had a dream of Rom's Falco. Dream of what? Rom's Falco. Rom's Falco. Dude, okay, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll talk more about Rom when he's on stream. But yeah, yeah. Rom, I love Rom. I had a weird ass dream where I was playing kitty soccer with Messi. Interesting. That is that is a <laughs> that is a dream of many people. I'd say. Yeah. Except no. Here's the thing. People are calling. Uh, somehow you. we are a minute half in this game and neither of them taking a stock. I'd That's, say. Yeah. <laughs> that is very unusual for not only the character matchup but the players too. Yeah. What was funny about my dream was it was clearly Cristiano Ronaldo, but mm -hmm. people were calling him Messi. 
<laughs> the stream runner is new. Yep. Okay, finally a stock has been taken. Oh, another timeout grab to get the edge guard situation. Gets burned by the up B. I'd say like one thing that's really interesting to see is like how players manage their stamina over the course of a set. Cause like picking at this level for this long is difficult. And it if like you like burn out in the first two games, then yeah, the reverse three oh could come your way if you're like yeah. if your opponent was optimizing for effort. Yeah, I mean this is kind of exactly what's happening right here. Shrimp just clearly took that stock. Yeah, and I'd say like I wouldn't say I I'd honestly say this is one thing that gives Sheik the advantage in the best of five is like her game plan, I wouldn't say is necessarily easier, but sometimes you can just like you can grind out the early parts, and then the Falcon is gonna yeah, like it feels like Sheik's burn out punish, faster than you. It feels like Sheik's punish gain in particular has been very much optimized to not have as many mix-ups in the scenario as possible. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of flow chart like option select things that you can do as Sheik, especially as this. Like, even when recovering, right? You don't even have to think that hard about your what recovery you're gonna you're gonna do, because at the end of the day, it's it's kind of a formality. <laughs> Again, I call it the illusion of free will. <laughs> the illusion of free will, exactly. It's the Matrix. Oh! But, uh, that was a... Okay, good tech, obviously, to get... But then, making sure to, like, follow up after that, like, with the... Because he, he recognized that he was facing, you know, towards the ledge, so the pair would come out. Honestly, one of the biggest things in edge guarding is remembering which direction you're facing. Yep. That, that determines everything about how you can... Your flow chart, because, like, can you grab ledge or not? Yep. And if they can't grab ledge, they're probably going to go for that, but if you can cover it, then you can kind of coerce their decision-making in, in a way. <laughs> Lakers ain't been to say says WAPS tweet. Yeah, what did WAPS say? What did WAPS say that did them so hard? Uh, if WAPS is saying what I'm sa thinking I'm saying... Well, I don't know if Webbs is talking about like a, a basketball-related tweet or the fact that S2, or how many Waffles is moving out of NorCal. Because I feel like those could both be... <laughs> is, is, H2, is, is he moving out of NorCal? That, he tweeted that earlier today. So either Damn. Webb is very on top of it or he's making a reference to something older that I don't know. Bro, he will be missed. Yeah, that that kind of broke my heart. I was like, we're getting ready to play back and I'm hyping myself up. Brandon's leaving. <laughs> Dude, first we lost Nickum went, and now we're losing... Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the next the next generation, I'm saying like, it's our turn, I guess. Yeah, but me and Nathan are gonna be running stuff, so don't worry. Go, man. Call me waffles to go. To oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, Not just to go to commentary. Go to like NorCal locals, honestly. Yeah. Like here's the thing, Tof might be my favorite commentator, but I gotta admit, call me waffles to go. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be sad to see him go. Speaking of homemade waffles, though, make sure to check out his uh, his upcoming tournament that he's hosting. Definitely just follow on Twitter because he has so much like stuff for coming, like tournaments, content, like streams, like everything. Yep. He's a one-man army as far as he's, melee content goes. He's a legend. But anyways, back to the tournament. This is game five. Yes, this on Fountain Two. Yeah, this was looking like to be a two-zero, a three-zero for S2J. Mm -hmm. And now he's down. Wow, well, I guess the clutch grab there. And on Stadium, or on a Fountain 2. Was this the SG's counter pick? Uh, I guess so, right? Maybe. Actually, it has to be. It's kind of insane that uh, in 2023, we're seeing Falcons counter pick Sheik to Stadium. Or not I mean, Stadium. <laughs> I keep saying Stadium Fountain. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. This is still a, this is still a set. But if you're mm -hmm. SJ, you have to be thinking, like, you had this. Right? Like, you could have won this multiple games. Well, I'm thinking SUJ has probably got to be such a competitor. He's turning off that, that inner monologue right now. You I, know mean, what I mean, it's so hard to do that, though, right? But if you're a top player, I think I think if you don't have that mentality, you're losing to someone who does. Yep. These I guys have all either read Inner Game of Tennis or know someone who's read it. <laughs> yep. S2J has really brought this back, though. Mm -hmm. Was down. Okay, stomp Those opening. Stomps. This could be This could be big. Okay. Man, S2J has the best stops in the business. I'm saying it right now. Honestly, I'd be hard pressed to find anyone other than Wizard who's got any, anywhere in contention for best uh, stomps. Shout out NMW though. He's got the best local stomps. <laughs> best local stomps. But S2J got the best all time. Farm to table. Farm to tournament. <laughs> 
Okay, this is once again back in SD's favor. Maybe he was just playing the long game. He wanted more information on the Sheik matchup before ending the set. Maybe. Maybe. Remember, this is just the this is just the practice test. Yeah, this is this is the practice test. I mean, we got we got two more. He, he played those two games for the fans. We got two more guild houses before <laughs> before we got um, Genesis. Mm -hmm. Okay, last talk game five. Mm, goes for the stomp to call out the roll out of, roll out of shield, but uh, I don't think I, I stream just holds shield like yeah. a baller. I, if oh. S2J really goes for another stomp here, I will. He's the goat. Let's see it. Okay. Oh no. Doesn't get anything off of it. Oh my god, the nerves, the tension. The nair, instant nair. Oh, up tilt. The up tilt. That's the, I want to win. That's it. Damn. Shout out to SJ. We hear a singular scream from the crowd. It was probably Spark. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Who's wooing? <laughs> the whole hunt just flipped off whoever it was. It was wooing. He went like, bro, who's out there? Yo. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was... That was a slobber dark. I'm glad that was the set we thought it was going to be. Almost went down to the all the way to the wire. In 2023, up tilt? Yeah. I thought Falcon Maze were all up <laughs> tilt. They up tilt now. Dude, that, it's the forbidden move. like, okay, I, I'm going to use this to win this set specifically. Uh, SJJ is real. Re re Locating to NorCal, I believe. Yep. We've gotten a lot of new players in NorCal. Uh, we were just talking about all the players moving. We, we got, got a lot of new players, but we lost a lot of goats. Yeah, it's a new it's a new melee scene in NorCal. I swear to God. Completely. We new got players. like a uh, Gulu moved here, Denzel moved here. Those guys making making uh, any any floaty haters miserable. <laughs> Homemade uh, waffles out. Nickum went out. Mm -hmm. S2J in. S2J in. Yep. Equivalent exchange, I'd say. Uh, hopefully. Uh. A soul for a soul. Uh, your boy Rand. It's Been up here? I thought he came over the summer. It's Guildhouse 64 and start GG. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I, I knew that Denzo was uh, ranked in um, SoCal, right? I thought he was ranked in SoCal. Is from SoCal. That makes sense. Yeah, definitely uh, smoked with them outside of uh, Active Melee. Yep. Good guy. Yeah, dude. Link is broken, dude. Have you ever played that matchup against as like a... If you don't know how to deal with that out of shield, Link is broken. Yep. Link is Link is dummy stupid. You ever played Red X? I have played Red X, dude. dude that guy's so good. He uh, he complimented me though after I said he's like, yeah, you're catching on. I was like, Link Thanks. is bad. True. <laughs> However, L plus Link. Pl Link. Ak Link. Ak Link. That, that is a difficult tag. Alt tag to say. We are actually in the South Bay melee chat, just going over some alt tags. One of the best ones I've ever heard is uh, Boston Red Sox for Bobo. <laughs> or Boston Red Fox. That's what he called it. Boston Red Fox. Yep. I mean, I submitted a uh, Jiggy Smalls, aka Notorious JIG. That's my puff. <laughs> yep. You got any second or uh, secondary names? names your name for, for secondaries. Names for my secondaries? I do not. However, for a long time, I've been trying to cut up, come up with more "Don't test me" puns. <laughs> don't rest me. I'm sure it's uh, there's, up there's there. There's obviously "Don't test me." There's "Don't rest me." The, bur the have it, Falco is "Don't nest me." That that's good. That's good. That, now we're finding the concept. Let's see. I'm trying to think about things like don't best me. <laughs> like it's just like your browser. Please don't best me. Don't hurt me. Please don't Facebook friend request me. <laughs> Facebook friend request me. Lest we forget. Yeah. Jamie's got the don't quest me now. <laughs> don't stress me. It's just a ton of puns. <laughs> Chris best me. Chris best me. Falcon, don't Shout out uh, Net1234, by the way. Nipple. I wonder what he's doing. Don't press me. I mean, Falcon. <laughs> don't press me. Falcon, got, Falcon do got the biggest, <laughs> biggest titties in the game, bro. You see that man's chest? Look at the size of that. Just whomp. I can imagine it now, dude. Like, some but like some Twitter artist out there has got to, like, put the fuck. Draw, like, one of those, like, a. Uh, like the fucking big Ceno soldier, mm -hmm. and just like the the big ass tits and draw that as Captain Falcon, will fit perfectly. You 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 gotta you gotta understand Nathan. The core part of the joke is that the middle word has to end in est. Yes, it has to. That's the now. That's the uh, the like the, the fixed point that we're all rotating around is yeah. the is the est sound. Exactly. Internal rhyming. That's why it's <laughs> called don't test me and then don't rest me. And then don't nest me for Falco. 
Don't stress me. I'm trying to figure out other puns, but I ha you have to relate it to We're going to have to pull out a rhyming dictionary at this yeah, point. We're going to pull out a rhyming know. dictionary, and then we're going to have to relate it to a character. Mm -hmm. And then we've got to convince ourselves, like, yeah, this makes sense. You see, this, this is what you should be posting on Twitter. It's posting on Twitter? Yeah. All the different ideas. If you tweet this out, uh, and I see it, I'll, I will retweet it. I see. Actually, right now is a great time. If you have a Twitter, you All want right. a link. People got to find me on Twitter because I will not publicize that shit. Yeah. All right. Let me pull up my Twitter. I mean, it's, it's public already, so. Yes. Well, I'm doing it right now. Let me pull a bracket again. Should I add Zane? Should I add Zane for this one? For Don't Nest Me in particular? I'd say write it down and then uh, sleep on it. Just write it down? Yeah. You don't, want, you, don't, you don't want me to just shoot Don't Nest Me out into the world right now? I mean, hey, it's your Twitter. It is my Twitter. If you want to shoot it out in the world, then I will not just stop you. <laughs> uh, SJJ SFAT will be our winner's final set. SJJ SFAT for winner's finals. But well, I'm, I'm curious to see what happened in the loser back there. Okay, we still got a lot of losers left. Yeah, losers is one of those things that... Uh, All right, looking at top 16, we got Kedbot 2 over Arcadia, Dark Wizard 2 over Overground, but shout out to Overground for making it to 13th. I don't know if I'd seen his name before, but... He beat Juma 2-0. That's a that's a Juma's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good. I hope that, I hope that is a. I look, you hope that was Falco. Overground winning as Falco over Juma's Fox would be karma. Don't invest me is pretty good. And don't invest me. Is that just Mario? Because that's it. He makes the points? <laughs> hey, don't invest me. It's just Mario. All right, uh, these guys, you and Webs, gotta like uh, split credit we on gotta, that one. You get gotta, you, you yeah, get yeah, writing exactly. credit on that. I. I I gotta, I gotta tweet it out quicker. <laughs> okay, Umar beats Freehop. Umar isn't loser. What is he doing there? He lost to Blarg in Winter's Side. Oh, that's set, set up for uh, Blarg Sparks. Shout out to Blarg for winning that set then. Keeping the dream alive for boxes against Marth in in, uh, at the local level. Uh, Dark Ammo over Poppy Twig. Rom over Dark Ammo. 3 1. Okay, that's a. Uh, I'm gonna. That's data right there. Umar 3 1 over Typhoon. Ah, that means I'm not going to get a Typhoon set to commentate. The one player I know personally. <laughs> uh, Dark Wizard 3 1 over Blarg. Okay. Red Panda Master 3 0 over, Ke over Kevbot. And that is a Marth Fox specialist, so. Okay, don't invest me as Mario, but don't inspect me as Dr. Mario. How about that? Huh? Oh, Dark Atma playing Fox now, okay. Dark Atma? Yeah, classic. Lame, honestly. Damn. Bring back the peach cheek. Uh, okay, and then... Okay, we, we got uh, SFAT, SGJ starting, but just to finish out the loser's bracket. Uh, Rom 3 over Umar. Crazy. Red Panda Master 3-2 over Dark Wizard. Shroom versus Red Panda Master and Spark versus Rom are going on losers. So this is a... This is, like we said, new NorCal versus old NorCal. We got Red Panda Master against Shroom and Rom versus Spark. So yep. I guess Spark is like semi-new. He's also a doc kid. Yeah. I mean, Zane's a doc kid. You can't really call Zane new anymore. <laughs> Are people really calling doc kids new nowadays? Is that what counts for I, new? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Because as a doc kid, like, I don't want to be considered like new to the game or to the scene. Like, I, I don't know. You're old now. You're, You're right. I'm a, kid. I'm a, I'm a man, old. dude. I'm 25. That's crazy. <laughs> My first tournament, I was at Dewey Fox with it back in uh, 2014. I was 16. Some like random Valka taught me how to DI. Yep. I met Estat. He was like... Or my friend went up to SFAT and was like, yo, can we get his games? And then as I was playing against Cobalt, he was like, oh, you should get him to play Cobalt. I'll play him all the time. Or like, oh my god, these people are so nice. Wow. Yeah. My friend played uh, <laughs> homemade waffles on um, Poke Floats in, in Round Robin Pools. You're a metagame kid? Metagame yeah, kid? Dang. I'm a. I'm not a metagame kid. I'm surprised anyone watched metagame and thought, I want to play Melee. Are you sure? I thought, I was like, when I watch, I'm like, man, if I watched this as a newcomer, I would be like, I would not want to get into Melee. I, I would... I feel like this is a really depressing scene full of a lot of heartbreak and sadness. I don't know. I enjoyed metagame, especially the the new revision. I mean, I, I enjoyed... I, I tried to enjoy it as much as I could, but like, this the tone of it was so, like... <laughs> so dismal. Just timing, not exactly the reason why. Honestly, that's the same for me as the dock. I didn't... <laughs> I got into melee and then I watched the dock. I would say I'm actually a silence the silence vector combo video kid. <laughs> I was like 10 years old. My brother's like, "Yo, you gotta watch this stuff. These guys are going crazy in this game." Okay, how about this? Pikachu, don't pest me. 
Don't pest me. That's a slight more of a reach, I'd say. Sure? But uh, I mean, he is a rat. He yeah, a but when you got to explain the joke, yep. it, it kills it. That's true. That's true. So I don't mean to be too hard on you. Just like yeah, I mean, I'm throwing <laughs> ideas into the void right now. I, I I can't like just let anything go. You know what I mean? The Smash Brothers. Mango goes to every tournament ready to die. That's true. <laughs> At least it's like his best friend saying that. You know what I mean? Yep. Pretty even game right here. Honestly, I think the funniest thing was like watching people's Twitter reactions to the metagame was like, I can't believe this documentary like documented my actions. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Who knew my consequence my actions would have consequences? My, my actions had, my actions had consequences. <laughs> <laughs> me sowing you know, this is this is the shit, me reaping. Oh, what is this? Me sowing. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> me reaping. Mango and Joe for murdering the viewer. The viewer. The one and only viewer. <laughs> There's only ever been one Mango fan. <laughs> ever. And it's Mango. And it's Mango. Everyone else is just <laughs> playing Every for a second. Everyone else is coming for a second. Alright, we got we got a last situation here, but Espat is oh, okay, yeah, that yeah, side B was that's unfortunate. You hate to see it. Don't ice me. It's, this is, I'm in this one of those situations on, on commentary where I'm like, I feel like the viewers know more about the game than I do, so why would I even talk about the game? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just looking at the chat right now. These guys, <laughs> I don't need to explain Falcon Box to them. Yeah. If they want to know, Nathan can tell them. <laughs> I was uh, helping Nathan a little bit, or not helping, but he wanted some warm-up in this matchup, so I, I gave him a bit of the Ramo Jr. The Ramo. I would say he gave the Ramo Jr. some of the, some of the Nathan, though. <laughs> more so. Ooh, weak knee is one of the most frustrating moves to get hit by because I'm like, okay, I didn't die, but then I just died anyway. But you still get combo. Yeah, it's like, oh, I missed my kill confirm. It just combos into another one. It's like getting, it's like getting the weak hit of Fox, especially where you're like, yes, I didn't get the strong hit, but I'm still off stage, so <laughs> yeah. I still die anyway. Exactly. Dude, I was in high school, right? Playing against like like a casual. He was like, dude, Fox's up smash is so broken, it goes all the way around, and I'm like. You're right that it's broken, but I don't think that's why. I don't but then you get hit by that back hit, and you're like, oh my god, it is broken. It goes oh all the way around. It still goes. That shit is broken. If you've ever had your spot dodge covered by the back end of up smash, you know that that is broken. <laughs> if you ever played PM, bro, and you start, and then you get that hit, and you're like, wait a second, he's full dead. He's at, a, he's at 80%, and I hit him with a weak hit. He's, he's supposed to die, bro. Okay, going for that side B toward the ledge is so scary as Fox. Sometimes you just don't grab ledge, and I honestly can't explain why. I've talked to Rhyme and Snap about this, and both of them gave me conflicting answers. And my conclusion is just sometimes Battlefield just kills you. Yeah. For going to ledge. Sometimes if you hold back, it works. Sometimes if you hold back, it doesn't. Yeah. Which is how it is. If someone wants to lab that out and like post it on Twitter, I would love to see an explanation for it why that interaction sometimes works and sometimes does not. Because I know that like the, the ledge sticks out away from the stage, so if you go too close, you actually just like get Roy zoned. But I don't know, maybe it's like the vertical height because uh, um, Battlefield's like, edge is kind of slanted. So I feel like that might mess with some, some, some of it. Yeah. Battlefield's edge is deceptively slanted. Okay, this is another, another last talk situation. So as we saw, you know, in the last set, like, these this, these NorCal SoCal rivalries run deep. Like these guys have been playing for so so long. Yeah. I mean, some some of these people have been playing since before I was born, which is true. I don't know if anyone has anyone here been playing that long. I mean, if you played Melee on day one, you will have been playing longer than I've been born. Because Melee came out uh, a week before I was born. Yep. Melee is older than I am. Dude, I was like running a, a, like a Santa Cruz local, and one of the UCSC students was like a freshman. I was like, yo, can you turn that on for me? He's like, I've never used a CRT before. And I was like, <sighs> Jesus Christ. That, that fucking blow over the. hurt my ears. Did I should just hit that. Or someone hit that moonwalk. What time is it? It feels like it's. It's already 10? It's already 10, oh my god. Dude, how Good thing I have nothing to do tomorrow. How the hell did it get to 10 o'clock? This is crazy. 
And we're already at winners, winners finals. I feel like I at some point should have gotten off and let someone else commentate, but no one else came to commentate. So yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm living on a rock. I always offer people like, hey, you want to come commentate? Hey, you want to come commentate? Nobody shows up. Yeah. Maybe it's because they see you and you're super intimidating. That's that laughing is usually tight. Interesting um, personal insight. I don't. I wonder if. Uh, I, I don't know as fat no well enough to notice tells like that. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. Bro, you think Kevbot is good enough to do this? Uh, not a good day. Maybe. Kevin is a robot, I will say. Yeah, it's like that's so true, Billet Time, because every time somebody's on commentary, it's like it's this super elevated position, mm -hmm. and he's got all these fancy lights, and you're like, oh, that's the VIP room. Mm -hmm. You know what? I pre regged for this tournament, so I feel the, the right to do whatever I want. <laughs> As a TO, if you pre for local, you have carte blanche to do whatever you want. Yeah, I remember when I was, for like the first couple of months before I got on com uh, comms, I would always look up and like, oh, I have to ask like somebody to do it. Mm -hmm. And then I just started doing it. Yeah. Honestly, you're a good commentator. For having just started the game and having just started commentating. I mean... Sorry, I say just started because relative to me, you just started, but... Yeah. I'm very new to commentating. This is Andy. Sup, sup goat? Yeah, that, that, okay, I just want to point out that getting hit by that knee when you go for the spot dodge is... <laughs> I've gotten hit by that by Nathan so many times, I'm just like... Yeah, you're just... I deserve that. You're holding I spot every stick time. down, you're buffering that spot dodge, and they just read, read mm. your shit. Go to uh, one of my Santa Cruz guys. Santa well, Cruz? He was for a, a brief bit. I think he's... Uh, I've always wanted to go to out. Santa Cruz, but I've never been able to. It's tough to get out there. I, I definitely like have to consider, like, if, you, if I'm going to run a tournament, like a decently sized tournament in Norcal or in Santa Cruz, I have a lot of restrictions to work around. Well, just just in, in like terms of people's ability to get there is. Well, it's, it's it's also that, but it's also the time frame is weird for me. You know, Sunday at ten o'clock. That's just I can't do it. Sunday at ten o'clock. Yeah, isn't that UC Santa Cruz? Uh, okay. I haven't run a tournament at on campus in five years, so. Okay. Oh, weak knee, but should still. Oh, auto cancel bear. Uh, goes high the up. At the uh, side B. But, oh, okay. Honestly, those platforms can be so uh, frustrating when they come up right in like right in time to mess up your, your tech roll. Yeah, I always heard some people like it would be so much easier if it, like like the water would came up and then the platforms would rise to it. So that yeah, that gives you a little more room to react. But sometimes, right, like you just you're just just trying to like do a dash attack or mm -hmm. something, and then the platform comes up right when you're fucking trying to dash attack. <laughs> and now, of course, we get. One of Fox's best and worst stages, Final Destination. Mm -hmm. The duality of man, but uh... It, it is literally the duality of man. It's either like Fox Fox on this stage or gets fucked on this stage. There's like the, the archetypes of like classical storytelling. Like one of them is man versus beast. I feel like this, that's like Fox yeah. Falcon or Fox Marth. Yeah. Esfat making a commanding lead on this stage. You can really see why this stage is good for Fox in this matchup. I mean, it is one of the counterpicks, right? If you don't have a good final destination as a Fox player, I get at least a couple matchups. You gotta make the stage yours. You have to make the stage yours. You're going to have to play on it at some point. Mm -hmm. I think uh, every player, like, when you're going to a set, you have to have a stage that you stake your claim on. Like, for me, it's Yoshi's Story. I will, if I lose on Yoshi's Story, like, I, I might as well just forfeit the set. Yeah. I have, like, one stage that's always a ban for me, and that's, mm -hmm. that's Dreamland. I hate that stage. Yeah, obviously, like I'm sure at top level, like you want to stick your thumb on every stage, but for me, I'm like, I want to have my home, my my playground, my muse. It's gonna be Yoshi story. Yep, that's definitely how it feels. I mean, okay, SG really bringing it back though. The beautiful reverse knee, mm -hmm. even it get up, just going to show like, yeah, Fox does have some shit, but like Falcon, if you can get going, you can really get going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've uh, seen a lot of like different approaches to this matchup, like on the stage, and uh, overall, I'd say like I don't know how Falcons make it work. <laughs> you don't know how Falcons make it work. I feel like how is this game even even? I don't know. From from my perspective, you know, I. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've played this match from the Fox side for a long time. Yeah, I but guess. Yeah, sorry. I can't really speak about like the from the Falcons' perspective, right? Mm -hmm. I guess one thing that's nice is uh, not having to cover the platforms when recovering, like not having to cover the up the high side B's. 
Because that can save you so many stocks of space is hitting those. Yeah, I mean, that is one of the things about this stage. The lack of platforms not only limits your options for movement, but also your options for recovery. I mean, if you look at stages, especially like like uh, Pokemon Stadium, those mm -hmm. two side platforms make it give you a oh, lot okay. of options for recovery. I like the single hop up air. Okay. Oh, I love the yeah, wave dash bag to cover the roll in. That's okay. it just feels so clean when they when they hit it like that. So aesthetic. We have a set. We do have a set. All right, uh, my boy Wahoo who drove me here is uh, gonna bounce soon. Ah. So I'll probably stay for the this set and then I'll head out. For sure, for sure. All right. All right, coming up. Oh, unfortunate SD. Yeah, I just drift back a little too far there to grab lead, but uh, and I guess it'd be like that. <laughs> it's interesting that they're going they're going back to battlefield here. I'm. Yeah, I guess I guess. It, just as good as stage as any yeah. for a game five bout. That's true. I mean, it is the classic. I mean, if you're going to your locals, everybody goes. You want to just go? You want to just go battlefield? <laughs> Dude, honestly, I think I've been kind of like growing in tournament melee and not not doing that because there are some battlefield monsters out Dude, there. Every every single time somebody offers it to me, I'm like. No. <laughs> hey, and then I immediately ban Battlefield. Oh, but now you're gonna run to someone who knows you're gonna do that, and they're gonna be like, "All right, I'm gonna be ready for this guy to not take me to Battlefield." Yeah. Just uh. Like if you if you specifically <laughs> all the way down. ask me to go to Battlefield, I will do everything in my power to make sure we do not play on Battlefield. <laughs> I mean, I'm as Falco, like I'm 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 cool with Battlefield. I sure, mean, like, I'm fine with Battlefield that, too. That, 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 that's a part of it. It's like, I, sometimes I'm the Battlefield monster. You want to take me as Falco yeah. to Battlefield? Sure. I mean, I just do it as, out of spite. <laughs> you could have taken me some, like, somewhere I might struggle with. Yep. <laughs> or struggle. Don't take me to Fountain, please. Don't take you to Fountain as Falco? Or with anyone. Your combo game is so good on Fountain. Right. You'd think. Yeah, okay. All so. Right, we're getting close. All right. This has been close. But let's SJ making a bit of a comeback in percent here. Will it go to last stock? I would love to see a last stock situation. That back air. Oh! Up air. Doesn't find the shark. Okay, here it Wow, goes. this close quarter situation is so tight there with the jabs clanking, but okay. Sakurai combo There's doesn't kill at 163 or 167. That should be it. One more mix up situation here and. All the weak back air. Okay, that, 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 that is enough to kill. Last stock game Take notes, five scenario. Friends. Winner goes to grand finals. Loser will have to fight in the losers bracket. This could be it. Oh, the drill was so clutch there. Saved his life. Almost heart shielded it. Oh, it comes down to they one just, last <laughs> neutral interaction. Both these characters can take this so far. As fat looking like a rook, the way he's just moving back and forth. Shout out chess. Shine out of the shield. Oh the drill. my god, that drill into the. Oh, but uh, Johnny's so good with the recovery. Oh, full up there. Oh, double, double shine. shine. Back air. Back air. Uh, That's roll. it. <sighs> SJJ goes to losers. S Fat advancing to grands. And I have to go with my right. I'll be heading out. It was good it's talking to you. Good, good, good to meet you, actually. Talking. Let's shake hands. Let's shake hands, yes. See you at the next one. Yeah, see you next one, physics. See you then. Maybe we'll play next time. Maybe we will. You have more years on me. Maybe <laughs> I won't win. Maybe, but you're the, you're the up and coming, right? I'm the up and comer. I got that. I got that dog in. <laughs> SFAT gave him nothing to work with. Honestly, SFAT's defensive play gameplay is some of the best in, in the business. I've been thinking a lot about um, like defensive gameplay and what it means to be a defensive player. Because I feel like I'm someone who... <laughs> I play against players who are just so much better than me that defense is the, the, game of the part of the game that I play the most. Like against Rymo, against Typhoon, against Nathan. Like I'm just... <laughs> I'm, I'm just not even playing the same game with them in neutral. That it's like, okay, well, I guess I'll I can either get out of their combo and wrestle them, or I die. So, but uh, I realize that when I play against someone who doesn't have that, that that combo combo game, and I I recognize that they don't have the combo game of the people I practice against, I can find openings so easily, and I know th when the openings are coming that I can punish them, like, you know. Very, very simply, because you, you, you're mostly, not only are you whiff punishing, but like you're punishing them in lag too, from missing, whiffing, whiffing their last, you know, overextension. And uh, if you can optimize on that, like, it can be a really, 
low effort way of playing your like your early rounds against people who just don't have the uh, punish game, like their kill confirm flushed out. You just see where their flaws in their offense are and punish them for it. I think I'm getting a kill commentator here. Got drop bear on the mic. Another uh, someone I consider new to the scene, but been, been coming around lately. How's it been? I have been pretty good. Nice. Uh, drop there. Uh, do, were you in bracket today? No, I don't play melee. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I'm grinding P plus in the corner. <laughs> I love that. As far as people go, there's always going to be that one person who brings the PM setup. And <laughs> I, I, okay. This is my rule. If someone brings a setup to my tournament, no matter what game it is, I will I will run a bracket if people want to. Nice. But uh, I guess I don't advertise that enough. Sup, Metro Knight? It has been a minute since I've heard <laughs> your, your name. What's hi, hi, how you been? That's a old high school guy, high school Norco High School Smash guy. <laughs> We're still here. <laughs> Shout out NCHSS days. That was a uh, oh man. All right, who do we have here? Uh, we have, I believe, I believe Rom on the on the one side. Let me see. Let me pull a bracket on my phone. Shroomed and Rom. Shroomed and Rom. Okay. So this is actually, a, I believe, a run back from winter side where, I believe, Shroom just kind of <laughs> beat him on experience. I'd say. High school melee. Yes. So <laughs> my origin story in this game is I started running tournaments in high school. Uh, that's how I met people like Banjo, uh, Splog. Can't start coming to those tournaments. Spark. I met. Through that turn those tournaments. Uh, and nowadays, like, the scene, the high school has never, never uh, kept up with it. But uh, I like to think that we, you know, I don't know. We're kind of making waves in the community now. We, now we got Blog on the PR. Now we got Jade running stuff. Jade wasn't in the high school smash, but sa same graduating class as me. So I, I consider it. <laughs> still around. Honestly, Vile, build it and they will come. All right, game one. Oh, okay, Rom, uh, very carefully navigating that ledge situation. Not a thing for the ledge guard. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, Rom's laser game is one of the like I call it like hyper modern the way I see it because like everything that I've seen like fiction labbing like I'm like okay I, I can I can take those ideas and work with them on my own. I go in the lab or I'll, like theorize for a bit and then I just Rom watch Rom and he's already doing it. <laughs> he's already doing it in brackets. He just has it ready. And I'm like oh, this guy. Nice oh my god! That <laughs> I love. Um, wall jump is actually such a good. Uh, mix-up option for recovering because it gives you a little bit of intangibility and not only that but also puts you a little bit away from the ledge so like if they try to you know whiff a move like hit you real quick I think uh, either your your mic is blocking your or your, either your mask is getting in the way you can take off your mask it's just the two of us okay uh, I look like a girl yeah because I am one yeah love this for you anyway Honestly, I love the hair. It's fun. like I've, as long as I know you've had the you've had the long hair, and it's yeah. yeah I got it cut since uh, Deep Roast. Yeah, all my all my friends got like my housemates got into the long hair like meta, but I just can't stand the heat. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do it too. I wanted to be like true Santa Cruz stoner look, but uh, I, I couldn't commit to it. Especially because I wear headphones all the time. I want my hair like yeah. not not blocking that. All right, that was a uh, sometimes um. Falco pressure can be a bit of a paper tiger if you know what you're up against. Because once you get that third hit on shield, like if you're not, you know, bust balls, you're probably you know backing out of there. And then, as we saw in that, there's like a mini sequence there where Rom hit like a quick three moves and uh, Shroom just took him. Because at the end of the day, like Falco is probably one of the very few characters who gets away with not having like one of the only top tiers that gets away with not having like a, an amazing grab game. I'd say like say like it's a really good grab game. It's just you know, it's not top tier. But uh, he, he, you have to either like make something out of those skill pressure situations or just like take, cut your losses when you can. Yeah. Miss Randall. Mm. 
This is unfortunately a matchup I, I struggle with a lot personally, so I, I don't want to, <laughs> you know, as poison the well with my, my terrible commentary. As she? As, as Falco. Oh, as Falco, okay. Yeah. It's funny, I've had, like, matchup experience against Sheik my whole life, against, like, Rhymo's got a Sheik, Banjo's got a Sheik, or Banjo is Sheik, you know. And I, I've even played Sheik myself, I was like, I, I think if I learn Sheik, I'll be able to beat my Bacchus Demon, and <laughs> here I lose today. Well, I lost a few off, he was obviously amazing, but still, Sheik. Shroom's staying really close to the side, doesn't want to get in the middle. Oh, the power shields, shield, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's really tricky when um, you don't know. Like I, I play against Typhoon, right? And he he's such a like a diligent power shielder that like when I shoot that gun and I see that shield come out, I know the laser's coming back at me. Yeah. But that makes it in a way a little bit easier. Where like I can prepare my laser, my power, anti power shield counterplay, knowing that he's probably gonna go for the power shield. But uh, I play against someone who like doesn't know, like who maybe hits it like half the time, and they don't even know if they're <laughs> they're gonna hit the power shield. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll try to do something tricky, or maybe I'll just play with like normal Falco laser. I don't know. So I definitely think that if you're someone who's like has the power shield down, definitely mix in just not power shielding it, because it, it it keeps your uh, pun on the toes. Oh, what a great <laughs> carry across the stage! Yeah, yeah. I, I've been hit by that. I've been hit by that. Oh, Forge Mash on Shield is probably not what he wanted against an, against Sheik in, at the, when he was at zero, but. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'd say, like, Falco's. I'd say, like, one, one of the thrills of Falco is, like. You, you do all this prep work, you have all these cool things ready to do on deck, but when. You, you come and play. In tournament against Shroom on stream. Yeah. Uh, I hope you. I hope. <laughs> I, hope I hope your lasers are exactly the right height, like you find them. Yeah, he just keeps getting power shielded. Yeah. Seem to get a combo going. Mm -hmm. Oh, those instant back airs are so crucial. So. Just quick fun fact about Falco's back air I recently discovered. On the first frame, it's on the second frame, it's slightly bigger than on the first frame. It like grows for like a small part of the strong hit, and then it shrinks before the uh, weak hit. So if you know that, you can. Uh, well, I guess knowing that the one frame isn't that useful, but like knowing that it's slightly bigger on the on the strong hit can. Uh, it's kind of part of what makes that, that rising back air so dangerous. That's really, Falco. Yeah, it, yeah, it really spaces out your opponent. I have this clip I hit the other day where my my. Back air as Falco just clean destroyed a fox's mare. Like he got the fox. Oh shit! Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> People can see me nervously okay. touching my hair. <laughs> Bomb takes game two. Let's go. Yeah, honestly, good showing from Rom to like just grind that out. Yeah, no kidding. Battlefield counter pick. Sense. Yeah, I would say like sometimes playing like here, uh, if you're a player up three one in bracket, like that's a scare. Like from a mentality perspective, that's a scary because like you don't want to take your foot off the gas pedal, but you don't, you know, at the best of five, you don't, you do want to kind of preserve your stamina a little bit and pre preserve your information about what how you're gonna play the set. And also, it's just hard not to get lazy. Like you've been rewarded three times in a like three times to one for what you've been doing. Of course, you want to go for it again, but uh. So I notice Falco sometimes get Shine Grab when they mean to... Do they... Is Shine Grab intentional? Shine Grab is an amazing option for Falco on Shield. It, uh... Like I said, he didn't have the best, you know, uh... Punches off of Grab. But it's such a crucial mix-up because, like I said, they can just keep holding Shield against your Shine if you don't, if you never threaten the Grab. And, and like, other than that, your best bet is just to either Shield Poke or, like... Sometimes, because my, my tech skills aren't the best, is I'll pull away and then give them a chance to go for like an aerial out of shield or go for like an out of shield option and then try to play that mix up. But it's not as reliable as just. If you can just shine grab, like. Yeah. And you have enough time to. If the shine does hit, to follow up? Um. 
Hacks actually has a very great video if, if, if you're willing to watch, watch Hacks content in 2023. <laughs> it's called The Art of uh, Spacey Shield Pressure, and it breaks this, down, this whole content down in better ways than I ever could. Um, but the gist of it is like, it's. It, it is a mix up. You know, you could probably. I, just go watch the video. <laughs> better than me trying to recall it all on stream. In the middle of the set. So let's see. We got a one stock lead, Shine Grab, yeah. The thing about um, Falco's uh, throws, though, is that he has great mix-ups if you, you know, alternate up throw, back throw, and, and uh, forward throw. Because uh, up throw is kind of a, uh, is a very crucial mix-up because if they're, you know, catching onto the forward throws and the back throws, then up throw into, like, a bad DI can lead to, like, down air and back air. And, you know, that, that's better than <laughs> you're, gonna get, you're, like, comboing off forward throw and back throw. But, uh... If you, you obviously can't do up throw every time, single time, or they're just gonna like hold away, and that, that if they don't get by the hit the laser, they can get up pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, but so then that's when forward throw and back throw come come in clutch. Where it's like, okay, they're probably gonna di away because they're taking forward up throw. If I back throw, they're diing in. If I forward throw, they're they're going way off stage. I I would say like as stalker, that that's a throw game you can really uh, get a lot of juice off of at like early percent if you know what you're doing. But three stocks shrimp there. What counter pick do you think we will see? Uh, I, honestly, out of FD, outside of FD, I'd say there's not like a really like clear. I guess personally, I would go Yoshi's. Like I was saying before in the last set, like I stake my claim on Yoshi's, but I do think there's a good element of like personal preference. I think the lasers are going to be really nice here on the long stage. Yeah. Sort of what I had guessed. Yeah, especially against someone who's as amazing at scrapping as Shroomed is. Like, he's one of the best scrappers in the world. Like, having that small stage on Yoshi's. I, you ever play chess? <laughs> yeah. There's an analogy I use where um, I'm playing on Yoshi's story. Like, whoever gets like stage control first kind of has tempo. It's like, you're, you're always going to be playing at that at that slight disadvantage until you, like, your opponent misplays, and then you, you, then you get your chance. But, like, on stadium or bigger stage, you can pull out more and kind of zone. Pull out master, as they would say. Up till grab. Yeah, you have a bit more room. East Bay is P dry right now. I I saw that and I almost thought like P and then I thought like RN, which looked like M. And I was like, East Bay PM? You talking about Mandro? But now, nah. okay, back to the match. So I recently learned how to shield drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Earlier this week, it turned out uh, in 2023 it's actually not, not very hard. Back when I was trying to learn it, I was like, I'm gonna have to get notches, but I don't, I don't want to degrade my faceplate. Right. And nowadays you can just run forward a little bit and then shield drop. I still struggle with it. Yeah. So what Rama taught me is uh, you dash forward, n not for the dash input. But so you're holding the joystick all the way to the side, yeah. and then when you have the shield up, you already have that full inside, and you just go down. You're no, like I can do the input, but mm. I played ultimate for so long that I don't register it as an option. Uh, and then when I think about it, I get to in my head to actually do anything mm -hmm. with it, and then I get hit. Yeah, I would say that's definitely like sometimes you don't want to add too many things to your game too quickly, or else you're just making too like more complicated for yourself when you're playing bracket. Yeah. I'm having to unlearn <laughs> what Ultimate has trained me to do, <laughs> which is run off the side of the platform. I, I, I was doing that for like eight years, so. <laughs> oh, Danner grab, I love that, honestly. Danner fourth throws. Because sometimes, like, the the grab or, like, the, the shine not gonna hit, because Falco's shine is small, and sometimes if they, like, SDI away. You could go for down tilt, but that's slower too. And then, so then, like grab just becomes like a uh, nice, like medium option. I feel like Shrimp is giving Rom the space he's trying to take, mm -hmm. but then Rom is having trouble closing it out, like mm -hmm. challenging him at ledge. Yeah, Ooh, that's nice. one thing that's really tough as Falco from like a psychological perspective is like once you kind of get into your zone, you're like, okay, I'm a laser, I'm locking down, he's not coming in, like he's he's letting me play my game. And then in that moment, we're like, you're so suddenly sat momentarily satisfied with your positioning. That's when they come in on you. It's like, <laughs> you, 
they're, they're waiting for you to take that that breath where you're like, where you're like okay, I got them when I want them. And then they come in on you. It's like... They wanted you to take that breather. <laughs> on this stage, Mmm, what a forward air. That was like, not only the timing on it, but like just the very bottom of the fair. Nice forward smash. I love forward smash to cover platform tech chases. Down smash. I would have, again, down tilted personally, but um, I think maybe it was ambiguous as to where he was going to land. One thing that's so hard to do in tournament though, especially against top players, is just keep it simple. You think like, good player, I'm gonna go for the hardest option, or, like most complicated option I can think of, but sometimes you just gotta, when you're winning, you gotta simplify. Oh, that was one of my favorite little laser tactics right there. He, he shoots a low laser and then jumps and shoots the high laser. So he jumps over his own laser to <laughs> get the second one out. If he power shields, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice little hedge there. Y'all doubting Cheek on Rainland versus Taco? I don't know. I, I think this is like an even stage, personally. Oh, oh, you mean on the down tilt? I could see that, yeah. It was like 150, so ambiguous, but I don't really see any other Falco move like killing there, so I, I would go for it, maybe. Alright, playing this, uh, this tricky game where like. You, you, as Falco, I shoot the laser, the sheet goes to the platform, and I'm like, okay, now I gotta either go for center stage and get needled, or go to top platform, uh, go back to my own platform, and then... It's kind of like a... When you know all your opponents... And you're playing chess, right? You know all your opponents, like, uh... What do they call them? Like, checkmate patterns that they're going for? Yeah. And you start, like, playing the positional game instead. That's kind of what these guys... I guess that is kind of a neutral game, but uh, we, I think we saw a pretty fun display with it for this second stock. How they're like maneuvering around the platforms and really not putting out a whole lot of moves, just kind of like waiting to find the spot yeah. that they want to contest. That was such a good back air to beat that forward air. Like I said, the, that early uh, hit of nice back air is a little bit bigger. To beat out forward air? Mm -hmm. Alright, Rom's got a lead here. Going in, going into the last stock at game 5, this would be a huge upset. It would mean, this would be a crazy upset for NoCal Melee. It's like, our new Falco, like our new best Falco, taking out the old head Sheik. Like, and, and this is like not a matchup that Trim, like, you know, is inexperienced in or anything. Yeah, definitely. And especially, like, getting the revenge on him, too. But now the big power should grab. Double, double jab. Oh, but <laughs> dash grabs and, uh. Drops the punish. This is dead even. Oh, the up air catches him trying to go up top platform. Down, down air. Another one. Three quick ones. Oh, baby, a triple. Rolls oh. in from ledge. That's such a panic option. Yeah. Oh. Had him. Oh. Great so showing, though. <laughs> um, that was fantastic. Had him. On the like on the ropes. On the ropes, definitely. Just I think uh if I'm Rom though, like you lost the set, but going into Genesis, like you're sick like <laughs> shroom to game five, you're feeling not yeah. too bad about that matchup, I'd say. Definitely. GG's, yeah. Let me see what else is going on in bracket. Like, I think we got just two more matches left. Um yeah, it's gonna be Losers finals, shroomed SUJ, run back, and then the winner that will play SFAT, see if they can win two sets and winners. I love being like a bracketologist on, on the mic. <laughs> Finally, I get to talk about the thing I've studied for so long. Oh, so SFAT is in the SUJ and shroomed, that'll be interesting. Yeah. This shroom guy is good. Bracketology is fun, yeah. You know what I've been thinking about a lot recently? This is kind of like the, d the dismal way of looking at brackets. Is uh, something I talk about with my TO friends all the time is after the first few rounds of bracket, half the tournament's out. If you think about the tournament's like statistics, like the bottom half of the bell curve is gone. If you want to progress fast there, you gotta 
You gotta be different. You gotta think different. You gotta prepare different. Everything past that 2-2 two -two mark is... <laughs> it's a whole new world. I, I always... And then now I have this analogy in my head. Like, when I'm going into, like, a new task or, like, a new thing, is like, how do I beat the bell curve? How do I get ahead of the, the standard deviation? How do I be an unstandard deviant? <laughs> Non-standard deviant. Be built, built different. different. Agreed. True. All right, Zelda Falcon. This is not a good matchup. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Use Zelda's best play. Well, these guys are playing some crazy positional game right now. Absolutely, just not getting touched by each other's uh, checkmate pattern. <laughs> Am I on the left? Oh, I used to be a fox main. You could say that about like any of the top tiers, because yeah, I used to main them. Shout out Rymo, I would not have played Fox for two years if it weren't for him. It's funny for us guys, because the, the the position of us on screen is inverted. Yeah. Oh, or were they talking or were they talking about the players? <laughs> oh, commentator on the left. I should read better. Okay, game is starting. Uh last set was a reverse 3-0 for Shroom, I believe. No no no, it was almost a reverse 3-0 for Shroom, but as that Clutch it out on Fountain. His counterpick, by the way. So that, that was that was something fascinating to me. I've never seen, I've never heard of a Falcon counterpicking to Fountain. But honestly, like when I was like, you know, first getting into tournaments, that was kind of like the new idea. Like, dude, what if Falcon isn't bad on Fountain? What if he just needs to stomp? <laughs> yeah. I feel like Falcon can outmaneuver Sheik even on Fountain. Yeah, it can be. Interesting, like, the type of maneuvering is different for both of the characters. Falcon, or Sheik is a character I describe as having, like, burst movement. She doesn't operate well on this mid-screen, but she can do, like, you know, anything in her zone, in her crash cancel zone, or she can burst at you with a dash attack or a grab. And Falcon is... has a lot of similarities in, in that he's, like... Uh, he's, he's better in the air, though. He's, he has these big, those big hitboxes that, like, kind of makes him effective in that zone. If it's, like... You know, a, a stomp to like beat out those like the middle of the dash attack or something. Is that up air? That was really nice. Hmm. These guys, yeah. These guys can edge guard. I, honestly, some good discipline from uh, Shroom there. Just to, he got the like a nice back air for twelve percent. And did not try to like go on off of that. He's like, I got my percent. I'm a, I'm chilling. <laughs> Let's go back to neutral. <laughs> Next time we'll play it with you at twelve. Because getting those like early percent um, punishes like off any move is hard. And, and even like just getting a hit that won't like end in reversal is pretty hard. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Classic. This 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 game has just been like just straight like <laughs> death combos almost. Yeah. You guys are playing Marvel. <laughs> yeah, stomp out a shield not as good against Sheik, I think, as it is against like Spacey's because she she also has some big out of shield options that can make it scary to go for. Her. Or in that situation, it just, it just didn't uh, lead much on, on the shield. Hit. Up throw, up air. Oh, that was, that was a tricky was option nice right there. Grab. Weak back Very air. Awesome. Still can grab the. Oh. There we go. You know, it's funny. You said it looks like Marvel. Uh, I was playing Lucario in P+. Say again? Right now? Right now. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Shreem. I want to get cookies. Yeah. <laughs> See y'all later. Time. Have fun in Grands.